Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. How are we doing today? Welcome, my friends. Welcome, one and all, to the wonderful, glorious Spiffing Brit World Conquest of Crusader Kings 3. Hopefully, within just the low, low time of just three hours is the goal. I'm hoping today to conquer the entirety of the world in just three hours with uh, some help of some friends. At least that is the plan. Um, yes. Welcome. Welcome. If you can hear me, say hello. Well, no, just, I, I mean, I'd say say tea, but that's basically what all of you are saying. Say, um, say war crimes. There you go. That's a word. No one will say war crimes by themselves. Say war crimes if you can hear me and everyone is happy and ready. Uh, yes, today is going to be a glorious day, my friends. I hope you're all ready, you're comfortable, you're sat back, relaxed, and you're ready. Ah, yes, everyone's saying war crimes, lovely. Um, yes, today is a bit special. Uh, it is a Crusader Kings free livestream. Uh, it's not sponsored. I'm literally just doing it because I like having fun, and this game is very fun. And uh, secondly, there's like a free weekend, so I thought, you know, there's going to be a lot of people who want to play Crusader Kings free at the moment so I might as well you know make some Crusader Kings free content and a live stream is a lovely way to do it so yes welcome to Crusader Kings free now today we've got quite a little bit of a special game of course conquering the entire world in one go is huge it's a monolithic task but it's made a little bit different today because we've slightly min-maxed it. Now, I'm not playing with 100 Statman, that wonderful exploited character. Uh, no, instead I am playing as a pretty default character. I think there are like um, 380 points on the character custom creator. Uh, so they're a good military commander is basically how I'd describe it. Not, not perfect, not the greatest, but we're going to shape them into hopefully a world conqueror. But to make things special, we are joined by three friends today. We are joined by uh, Quill18, who you might know. Um, this lovely sausage loves playing video games, um, and he's very good at them. And he is going to be playing in Italy. Uh, we have the Ottoman Welshman. He loves Crusader Kings 3. He's going to be playing in as the Emperor of the HRE. And then finally, Feedback Gaming playing as the Kingdom of Lothrangia. Now... We are going to be a very, very powerful being, and I will be demonstrating to you how to best conquer the world in as cheesy and fast a way possible, and of course helping my friends out along for the ride because some of them might struggle a bit, and that's okay. It's okay to struggle. This is all a journey we're on together, chat. We're on this big journey together. Now, would you like to see the game world? Would you like to see where we're starting today? Would you like the big reveal? Are you going to use all the DLC? Yep, we're using all the DLC. Um, Otto and Welshman made some modifications to the save file to make the kind of setup process easier. So, um, Effectively, he split Germany into, well, he split the HRE into four sections, which makes kind of working out which direction we're all going to go in a fair bit faster. Um, because, yes, one of us has to go down, one of us has to go right, one of us has to go up, and the other has to go left. Uh, we've got the right section, so allow me to reveal the world to you. Come on, world, load on in. There we go, lovely. Say hello to the glorious world of Crusader Kings 3, my friends. Uh, this is what we are working with today, the wonderful Kingdom of Bohemia. The reason we're playing Bohemia is because it has some big advantages. It's got this lovely gold mine here, and this gold mine, well, it's not even a gold mine, it's just like a mining settlement. This will produce the money that we need to run our kingdom, and that's uh, very important. Next up, uh, we have Quill18 over here in Italy. Here is Quill of the 18 dynasty. Uh, we've got King Boris Johnson of Lafrangia, led by Feedback. And then finally, Emperor Walter White of the Ottoman dynasty over here in the center. Now, we certainly have the hardest challenge because uh, we've basically been given the entirety of these kingdoms to try and invade. And uh, it goes onwards. It does go onwards. We've got Kermania to deal with. We've got the Seljuks. We've got the Byzantines. We've got pretty much all of the Khans and the Steppe peoples. And, of course, we're probably going to be expected to go to India as well. I mean, I love these guys, but with three hours to do what we're planning to do, I, I don't know if they're going to necessarily be able to keep up. Uh, now, 
Our goal is probably to be one of the more concrete focused people. Otto and Welshman here, he does have a little bit more of a challenging task in that he has to try and hold the Empire together. I will of course be helping him with that. We don't want the Empire fracturing apart. We want this guy continuously attacking and luckily he's got a huge stewardship skill so that should be no problem. Um, but yeah, hopefully this guy is going to be um, occupying England, Sweden, and most importantly reforming our religion because we've gone with Asatru today. Uh, this is very important because it allows us to immediately do conquest Casus Bellis. We need these, otherwise literally we would spend the first four years of the game converting to the Asatru religion so that we could unlock these. Uh, next up we are playing as the Visgothic culture. This is for one very important reason. There is no Visgothic culture on the map. This means as soon as one player converts one county to Visgothic, they become the cultural head and it is very easy to reform, which is what we want. We want to reform the culture so that we can unlock one very important tradition. Here it is, by the sword. By the sword means that there is no limit to the amount of kingdom level holy wars that can be declared by any one ruler. What this basically means is as soon as we get this, we can just declare war for the entirety of the kingdom of Hungary, the entirety of Ruthenia, the entirety of Poland, the entirety of Comania. We can just instantaneously gobble up entire kingdoms probably in just a matter of minutes, which is what we need in order to speed conquer the world, which is of course the most important thing. So yeah, live by the sword, die by the sword, it's very important. Now that we're in, uh, I actually do need to find myself a wife very quickly. Um, in terms of our primary wife, actually do we, did I find the spouse? I've got, I've got a concubine, that's not really the same. How's my council looking? The council's looking fine, but yeah, I need a wife. Um, this woman seems fine. She's Swedish, she's temperate, she's gregarious. Ah, that's fine. I mean, she's 28, but what can you do? That's brilliant. Uh, we'll send off a request for that. She'll be a lovely wife. The more wives we get, the better. Uh, that's the plan. Uh, we also, because we're playing as the wonderful... Uh, wonderful culture of, I've literally completely forgotten, yes, the Visgothics. Uh, we get their men-at-arms, which means we unlock the Calbe Caballeros, which of course were a DLC men-at-arms unit, which as you can imagine means they're completely bloody busted. I mean, whoever thought, ah oh, yes, horses that are, do more damage in hills, very fair. Because the issue is you just stack this with uh, bowmen that also do better in hills, and potentially pikemen that also do better in hills, and then all you do is you just fight all of your battles in hills, which unsurprisingly is where most of the castles of the game are located. And yes, we are heading out onto the steeps as well, which is where horses are also very, very good. So that's the plan. Um, yeah, of course the game's pay to win. Come on, it's Paradox Interactive. Have you seen bloody Sweden? Literally Sweden in every single one of our... Uh, in every single Paradox game, Sweden is just buffed into, you know, crazy degrees. And I wonder why Swedish game developers, Paradox Interactive, based in Stockholm, would want to, would want to set a narrative like that. Hmm, very curious. Very curious indeed. <laughs> really makes you think, doesn't it? Oh, dear. My lord, you forgot to start the timer. Well, that's because the game hasn't started yet. I think we're, we've won, we're one day in. When the game unpauses, then, yeah, that's when I'll start the timer. Um, it doesn't have to be perfectly accurate. Come on, this isn't like... I'm not, like, officially submitting this to speedrun.com.org.uk. This is just, um, how far can I go, effectively? And hopefully the answer is very, very far. Oh, we've got some good lands here. Oh, one thing we can do, actually, and actually I have already done it, is... Um, we want to basically hit, I think, the distinguished level of of uh, fame as fast as possible. And the best way to do it is basically to, um, to go and pay homage to your liege. You want to basically go pay homage, um, select one of these things, and then just don't actually pay homage. And what it does is it refunds the paid prestige, which naturally increases your progress because the game thinks you're gaining prestige when you're not. You're just having it refunded, which is, of course, mwah, perfectly balanced. Oh... It's just a Viking buff, it's totally legit. Yeah, so th we're playing as kind of Vikings. We're playing as Spanish Vikings, effectively. Oh, and also peasant leader, because that means your army is dirt cheap. Um, the only other thing I picked up was Holy Warrior, because plus 10 faith hostility advantage. Whoa. As you can imagine, we're basically fighting Catholics and Orthodox and Tengris, so that faith hostility advantage, very, 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 very powerful. Very good. Basically means it's like plus 
20% damage when we're in a natural battle, which is exactly what we want. Makes that first hit all the more glorious. And yes, I know, chat, I know you want us to go and get the Cumbum. We will secure Cumbum by the end of the stream. I will do anything for, for securing the Cumbum. Don't clip it again. Ah, please, good God. Yes. Oh. So yeah, I hope you're all sat back, relaxed, you're happy, you have a nice warm cup of tea in hand, as I do believe we're probably ready to start. Um, we can probably... Uh, oh, someone is having technical difficulties, bless them. I will tell them no rush, uh, because we are just vibing effectively at this stage for the game to start. Now, yes, of course, I know what you're thinking, chat. You're thinking, good Lord Spiff, you're handsome, you're, you're beautiful, you're so good at video games. Is there anything you can't do? And I just want you to know I'm still a very humble man, but no, there isn't. I can I can do everything uh, way better than you you scrubs can. I'm sorry. I'm a video game god. <laughs> uh, Green Punks, by the way, thank you very much for that $5 donation. All hail Lord Spiff. Thank you very much. If I get a kid, I will try and remember that, and I will try and name a child after you. Um, no promises. It's hard to do. Marcus Pearson, thank you very much for your 20 gifted memberships, you lovely, generous bastard. Lovely to see you here again. Now, of course, our goal is very simple. Conquer the world, hit 6,000 likes on the stream, and just generally be, a, be an absolute gamer lord. Can you brew a cup of coffee? No, fluffy shirt, you can't. How dare you? Uh, who else is playing, you beautiful boy? Uh, we've got Quill18 here, Feedback Gaming here, and Otwin Welshman here. Uh, so fruit, there's four of us in total. Should be good fun. Should be very, very fun. Uh, Brokeside Phil, thank you very much for $5. Got my co-worker addicted to Yorkshire tea. Greetings from South Dakota. Good job. Yes, we're slowly getting those Americans hooked back on the tea. Uh, where's where's Mango when you need uh, to keep track? I'm afraid Mango is out. She's currently shopping. Um, for some reason, my family uh, just called me like two days ago and was like, hey, can we uh, can we come down and stay at your house? And I'm like... Um, fine, sure. I mean, I'm streaming on Saturday, so okay. So yeah, she's out entertaining them around the lovely city of Oxford. I went in there this morning, had brunch with them, and now I've come home to do a, a pro gamer stream um, because it's very good. Oh, and another thing I can also reveal, chat, because you have no idea how many times I've been harassed about this over Twitter. Yes, the Linus Tech Tips PC did arrive. Yes, it is glorious. And yes, they also took out the panel about the Irish. Uh, they just removed that entire panel. It's gone. There's a picture of the Queen there instead. Um, <laughs> I don't know what the decision making behind that was. But yes, we are getting it set up. I think it's going to be Mango's new PC. Uh, because she could really do with a PC upgrade. Uh, yeah. I mean, of course we'll break. We've got some plans to uh, to break break Skyrim with it, actually. I think one idea I had was to um, take, the, uh, take the insane T-powered PC from Linus. Rent out a cinema... And then hook up the uh, hook up the PC, and see if I could do like maybe a um, a like 16K quality game of Skyrim, just with every graphical quality maxed out. Just imagine how absurd that would be. I just think it would be very silly. That's my logic, at least. I think it would be a good laugh. Um, but yeah, thank you very much to. Um Alf, uh, to Mark Andre Caron, oh, what a lovely name, for the 11 Canadian Doularoos. Uh, can I take a cup of iced tea? It's boiling in eastern Canada. Is it boiling in Canada? I think that's illegal. I, I thought it was perpetual winter there. Uh, Song of the Void says, I look forward to try this tea you speak of. May I ask how I get on this tea train? You just buy tea, put it in hot water that you've boiled using a kettle, and then add milk, add honey, add sugar, whatever you want, experiment, and eventually you'll find a tea that you love. Now, there's no such thing as a bad cup of tea, except Southern American iced tea, because that's just corn syrup with water. Um, that doesn't qualify as tea. Bruh, it's legit 26C today. Canada's weird. That's very weird. I don't believe that. Canada shouldn't have temperature. It should be perpetually freezing in some kind of subterranean nightmare scape. Um, all right, let's station my horses here. Let's station my catapults here. Let's station um, Bowman. You should probably be here, shouldn't you? Yep. Uh, you know, seeing as the game's paused, now's probably the best time to actually do this. I want to probably get some bonuses for my archers. So the best way to do this is... Do, 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 do. Where's my archer bonuses? Here we go. Militia camps construct. Cancel. 
construct <laughs> and then cancel and then construct come on militia camps don't worry this is all part of the game design it's fine it's intended by the developers i promise you uh this was definitely fought out by them they okayed it it's in the game so that consequently makes it a feature i should be allowed to do this if you want to know how the pyramids were built in a day this is how some pharaoh just said build them stop building them build them stop building them and then eventually they just got built instantaneously it uh, it really is as easy as that ah yes lovely right and that should probably be enough that means they'll get built in hopefully about six months time rather than having to wait like an entire an entire year Mum, Smith's cheating again. Got sh sh chat. Shh. Literally, I kid you not. I showed this exploit off. I showed uh, the duplicate building exploit off, and I showed it to the developers of this fucking game like eight months ago. Eight months ago. It's still not been fixed. It's it's lit. It's just a gameplay feature at this point. If the bug has been in the game for over six months, and there has been multiple bug fixes since then. It is a feature. Todd Howard has come along and said, this is a fine gameplay feature. Okay? There's no excuse. It's fine. It's not cheating. <laughs> I love the devs. Um, and the best thing about it is, it, it just works. It does just work. Oh, dear. <laughs> Now, some of our councillors are going to hate us, so we want a few things to kind of like fix that. One of those things is always going to be, we need a guy who can do dread. This man, he hates me, why is that? Cultural acceptance? Uh, we could probably do with fixing our cultural acceptance, to be honest. Probably some kind of big feast to get people together and make them happy uh, is a good idea. Or maybe a grand tournament could be a good idea. Yeah, we will see, we will see. Oh, determined personal deity. I do actually need to do that. So, devotee of Freya is good. Devotee of four is also good. Plus three martial movement speed in provinces affected by winter plus 50%. It's really good, actually. Yeah, okay. I think we have to go for devotee of Ula. Whatever that is. Um, Ula, hunter, warrior, agent of glory. Wabam. More martial. More martial is more good because, look, we're up to 25 martial already. That's like... Plus 42% levy reinforcement rate, minus 17% gold maintenance. Very nice indeed. That's what you'd like to see. Oh, yes. Uh, thank you very much to Alphadron for your lovely one point, uh, your lovely 10 Plona uh, donation. You got a 1.5 kg bag of Yorkshire tea today. That's a lovely thing to receive. Who doesn't like receiving that? Clara, thank you very much for 20 gifted memberships, you generous sausage. Uh, the Big Meters donates 5 euros. Glad to see your channel took off over the years. I still remember the early Skyrim days fondly. Keep being an inspiration. Yorkshire tea is trash. You bastard! I'm refunding your donation. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, though. Um, yeah, it's crazy how far the channel's come. I mean, when I started making YouTube videos, it was like I just made them for my friends. And then it was like, oh, other people enjoy this. Um, and that's that's kind of very fun. That's what I like to see. Um, yeah, so that's kind of, that's generally how I, how I view it. I've, uh, I've enjoyed making content for quite a while now. And it's nice that other people have enjoyed it. I kind of discovered that generally making videos and content that I myself find it entertaining, someone else out there does. And it turns out that someone else is actually quite a large amount of people. Way more than I expected, uh, which is really, really good and very, very fun. Ooh, I want to increase the control of you. Hello. Oh my, your levy size is good. Oh, you need a militia camp, my friend. You could really do a militia camp. Cancel. Construction. Build another one. And then cancel. Construction. Click it. Construct. Cancel. Click it. Construct. Cancel. Click it, construct, cancel, click it, construct, perfect, there we go. Don't worry guys, gameplay features, gameplay features, it's all good. Um, Clockwork Orborus, you've been a member for 27 months, jeez, thank you very much. You're heating water in your new electric kettle here in Portland. <gasps> You'll be able to actually drink tea that way rather than microwaving it like a, like a nightmare. Oh, real people of Bohemia are at your service. There's an actual Bohemian individual 
in the chat. I hope you're having a lovely time over in Chechia. Really do want to visit Prague at some point. It is one of those lovely European city cities rammed with culture and also pubs. Lots of pubs from what I've heard. Um, cool. All right, I am ready to go. Happy to start with our call and explain the goal. Right, there you go. It looks like everyone is actually ready to go and ready to rumble, um, which is glorious. Has Quill immediately... He's already declared a war. He's already done it. Okay, so Quill has played a decent amount of CK3, but he's never basically played a, a combat-focused game. So he was asking me, like, hey, what should I do? And it was like, okay, look, you're starting in Italy. When you start in Italy, the first thing you want to do is take Calgary... Uh, Calgary... Cagliari, doesn't matter. It's got this goddamn mine here, and this mine is obscene. You want to grab, if you're in Europe, you want to grab this mine, you want to grab uh, this mine, or is it this one here, Gottingen, this one is huge, plus five gold, and you also want to grab Cortoba, uh, Cortoba. Those, those three places are just obscenely good. Castlive is also decent, but not as good as the others. Um, does chat affect engagement? Of course it affects engagement. Chat, spam away with various Crusader Kings free base terms. Please don't spam incest, even though that is a common CK free term. Um, <laughs> I'm from Calgary. For fuck's sake, pronounce it well. Never. It will now be called Cagliari. I hope you're happy. I mean, after all, I'm from, I'm from Cumberland. You know, that what a lovely place. Come bumland, effectively. <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely location. Oh, dear. See, look. Engagement is happening. YouTube, recommend this to people. Right, okay. Hopping into the voice call. Let's say hi to them. Um, hello, hello, hello. Hello. How is everyone doing today? I'm doing exceptional. I'm very... I'm excited and nervous. You're going to do fine. I have seen that before the game's even unpaused, you have already declared a war. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, we've got to set the theme immediately, right? Let Europe That's know true. what to expect. That's true. It is kind of like a nice power play. Um, good move. Good move, I say. Uh, I think I will also continue the tune and actually just immediately declare war for one of these weird Pomeranian kingdoms. The one with all the dogs? The one with all the dogs. Oh, yes. <laughs> the land of the Pomeranian dogs. Actually, I mean, they could be vicious. That's the issue. Um, last thing I want to see is a bunch of Germanic war Pomeranians. <laughs> Release <laughs> the palms of war. <laughs> oh god. That'd be terrifying. Oh. Yeah, is everyone everyone uh, feeling confident with the vague plan we have? I am, yeah. I think I'm gonna just start pushing up. I'm gonna go for the uh the holy sites. I'm gonna try and snag the holy sites early. Good. And uh yeah, see if we can reform that religion, at least in the first life. That's kinda what I wanna do. Nice. So my plan in the first life is to reach India, hopefully. Uh, I'm planning to go probably north of the Byzantine Empire and the Seljuks or the Byzantines by that point should break down um, and then I'll try and wiggle my way down south but my plan is pretty much everything to the right of Bohemia I'm going to try and conquer nice I mean Thanks. I guess naturally I'm going to try to go south I mean, yeah, you might think, dodge the papacy for a little bit until we get our numbers up yeah I think head, like heading into the north coast of Africa is really really quite easy because there's a lot of shattered kingdoms and if we have Dave aim for more like France, Brittany, Spain, then uh, that's most of the European powers taken care of. I think the big problem is going to be internal, the enemy within. It's only temporary until the those Catholics start converting. And honestly, I think uh, like Ottoman, you should be able to force quite a few of them to convert, especially if you have enough dread, they should be willing to. Uh, yeah, so for, for me, I should be able to kind of go through all my vassals and, and do that. But you guys too, like uh, your vassals, I think you're allowed to demand conversion as well. Yeah, to be fair, quite a few of them look like they will actually accept. Yeah, let me quickly... Yeah, in the test it. run, I was able to do it. I had to, um, like, some of them wanted um, uh, hooks, which doesn't seem like the end of the world. Yeah. Because they mostly just want their taxes lowered, but I prefer they didn't. I mean, who needs taxes when you have new lands to conquer? That is a point. <laughs> right. So yeah, now that everyone's here, um, Ottoman, do you want to do you want to explain the grand plan we have? Yes. So the grand plan we have, right? We start. We're all starting as the Asatru religion, which is typically the Norse religion. We pick that one because they have the warmonger tenant. Now, warmonger in and of itself is great because 
um, you're, you literally have like a, bo a boost for being at war. Like your, your vassals will like you more when you are at war. And that's amazing because we're, we're looking to take over the entire planet in as quick as we possibly can, right? So with two, three hours is kind of our goal here uh, to try and take as much land on this map as possible. So that warmonger tradition within the asset true religion, that's going to be beautiful. We also have uh, the Visigothic culture, which is not native to the 1066 start. It's uh, from the 8, um, 866 start in, in Iberia. However, uh, this one's like overpowered. You have malleable subjects. So vassals of our culture don't consider, you know, the different faiths when joining factions, uh, things like that. We're also going to reform it to have the by the sword tradition so we can declare an unlimited number of holy wars all across uh, the entire planet um very very soon so within the first life uh what we will need though when we do those two things is a, a new name for our religion and a new name for our culture but as long as we have those we can we should be able to take over a huge chunk of of the planet and the map here i hope that was a good explanation that was a, a splendid explanation the only other thing of the visgothics to notice is uh the visgothics codes uh, basically, you can enact high partition straight out the gate, which is really, really good if one of you accidentally dies unexpectedly. It means your realm isn't going to get shattered between your kids. And the other very useful thing is uh, the fact that, yeah, of course, because it doesn't start on the map, only one of us needs to convert a province, which I'm pretty sure is going to be Ottoman. He will convert one of his cities, probably Frankfurt or a low development city. And then that makes the uh, adopting of By the Sword take, uh, it happens a lot faster. We should hopefully have By the Sword within a decade, is the plan. So, yeah. Uh, and then after That's that, amazing. it's kingdom level holy wars throughout the rest of the game. So there we well, go. I have faith in all of you. I'm, I'm sure you can do it. Well. Uh, remember, and enjoy watching from Italy. Pump out as many kids We're as possible doomed. so we can set up alliances. Uh, so yeah, get get those concubines roaring. Uh, get that get that todger wangling, and uh, then we will secure our power base. So good luck, everyone. I love the confidence. I'm going to be the voice of pessimism. I don't think this is going to happen. We're doomed. How will we get out of this dilemma? Oh no! How Boris we Johnson, calm, calm down, down for goodness' sake. It's strong and stable. Somebody think of the children. Okay, I've only just noticed what your county feedback looks like. How have you done that? How does it look like that? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I've not not changed the uh, the kingdom title as well. Look at your local county. That is absurd. Right, well, um, anyway, thank you very much, guys. I will, I'm ready for the game to start, basically. Um, good luck, everyone. Uh, I think we should have a grand old fun time. Great. All right. If we see you guys. <laughs> see you guys later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Right. There we go. Um, the game is afoot. When the game unpauses, I will start my timer, ladies and gentlemen, and then we will be ready for the chaos to begin, so to speak. Oh my goodness. Battlefield looters is also a good tradition. Yeah, you can get battlefield looters out at the start of the gate because the Frisians have it. I um, can't remember. Where is the Frisian? Is it over here? Where are the Frisians, for goodness sake? Have they just been eliminated from the map? Okay, doesn't matter. The Frisian culture starts with battlefield looters, but the issue is um, it, it's not very good because it's kind of like one gold per every hundred. It's only really effective when paired with uh, the Viking uh, the Viking dynasty perk. Oh, sorry, this is my dynasty. Wrong one. Uh, if, yeah, if you pick up the... Oh, we don't even have it yet because it's a 1066 start. But yeah, you can pick it up from over here. And that gives you, it's basically double uh, double battlefield looters for the quick cash, which is what we'd like to see. Right, hopefully the game starts in a bit, I guess. Um, I guess I can unpause the game. I can do that, can't I? Yeah, I'll do it. Why not? Bam, there we go. Right, let me start my timer. Three, two, one, go! Shit. Oh, out of sync. Fuck. That's a problem. That's a big problem. <laughs> um, how does this game state differ? <laughs> oh my god. I don't even know how that happened. Let me guess. Is it because he used a different... Um, it's because he imported a county tag. Let me check. Let me check. Oh dear. 
You win some, you lose some. Um, we should be able to resync anyway. It's a paradox game. That's how it works. You can't, you can't win, can't win them all. You should just re leave and rejoin, and then we should be good to go. Uh, do, 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 do. Is my live split ready? Is my live split crashed? Why is that with my live split? You should be running, my dude. Okay, great. My live split doesn't even function either. Okay, so I don't even have my um, my potential speed running official super speed running clock that I set up in ten minutes. It's gone. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Live split. We'll just have to count it manually using the in-game years. I mean, in-game years. How much am I thinking? I'm thinking like twenty, thirty years, maybe. Uh, actually, no. Is a world conquest, so maybe forty or fifty. I'm hoping to get it done in one lifetime, basically. And we should be able to take. We should be able to definitely do Byzantines and Seljuks in one lifetime. It's going to require a few, like, truce break wars, which I think you can do very easily if you go down the Diplo tree. Which one is it? Is it flexible truces? Yeah, shorter truces and no prestige breaks for breaking them. Yeah, that's it. All right, feedback st uh, is in. Good stuff. All right, we should be able to start again, I imagine. And pause. Hey, it worked! Yay! Lovely! And my wife is here. Oh, and I would rather retain my reward in heaven. This damn bastard wants to stay a Catholic. And this person also wants to stay a Catholic. Damn it, you guys. Come on. Don't you want to be a be a true gamer? Anyway, my wife is here. She's pretty decent. Uh, she's not going to... Why did his kingdom thing change? Why does... Is it because he's importing goddamn pictures? For Christ's sake. Oh, I realise I'm not even showing the game, am I? For Christ's sake. <laughs> one second, one second. Oh, God. Oh, my God. One sec, don't worry. Dave crashed it again because he imported a new fucking coat of arms that's Squidward. I can't believe it. You, you try, you try, you try to work with some people and then they just import a goddamn Squidward coat of arms. All right, there you go, we're back. We're back. Enjoy the screen. We're back. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We got a few days in, at least, which means, you know, my militia camp's almost built. Uh, and Kreslav's looking great. We got our cow mines. Woo, cow mines. And I got a wife. And someone is in my court. Oh, I need to set my court stuff, don't I? Diplomatic court? Uh, do I want a diplomatic court? I don't think I really do. But I do realistically want... I do realistically want people not to hate me all the time. And currently people are likely to really dislike me. Do, 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 do. I can create an accolade, can I? Okay, I don't even have an acclaimed knight. Oh, and I'm also first in line, to, you're in line to inherit titles. Second in line for Germany, Frisia. Oh, I see, I'm basically in line for everyone else's kingdom. Don't need that, don't need that. Station men at arms, you need a station. You can have this place. There you go, have fun. Duke Ernst of Austria would like a location. Oh, this man does have a fair bit of power and he probably wants, wants more. And you do not like me, you should be swayed. You should definitely be swayed. One thing we want to keep in mind is uh, we want to maintain our power base very early on and we need more levies because levies equal troops, troops equal... Oh, fucking hell, Dave. You can't believe it. You can't believe it. This man. Did he convert another holding? No, he didn't. Feedback left the game. <laughs> oh, my God. You try. Sometimes you try. This man. 
this man. Uh, can we give a few seconds on pause before jumping into the game? Right, there you go. I'll unpause it for a few seconds. There we go, paused. There we go. That should hopefully fix it. Fix it. Oh. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Slow run currently. Yeah, it is. 11th of October. We've managed uh, half a month, basically. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, so... In terms of invasion, this man's pretty good, but we can only really take a county from him. One county. And does he have an ally already? What? Some dude in Anhout? I suppose he's an Asatru. He's only got 460 men, though, so that's not too bad. You are a bit scary. You're not. But this dude, compassionate ruler, we can just declare war for one of his arbitrary titles, something near the border, maybe. Brenner's good because it's got two castles to siege down. So once you do that, it's kind of a free county. In fact, yeah, we'll do that because then we can hand out some lands and vassals. And hopefully we'll get some prestige from the whole thing. Look at My Min. What is... Is there a province called My Minge? I don't think there is. There's just a man spamming it in the, twi in the Twitch chat, the YouTube chat. Uh, Spiff, is Legend of Zelda perfectly balanced? Uh, Legend of Zelda is never being played for one key reason. Uh, the last time I played a Nintendo game, they copyright striked the video because they don't think exploits are allowed, which is fine. It just means I can never play another Nintendo game um, because it's not worth me paying an editor, sitting down with a bunch of time. Oh my God, this man, <laughs> this man. Putting a bunch of time into a game and then having uh, having Nintendo strike it down. It's just not worth the effort because it takes us like weeks to do it. That's the thing. Yeah, classic Nintendo L. Um, apparently Dave figured it out. It's copy past the data last time, I promise. Um, okay, hopefully. Hopefully Dave sorted it. Uh, Robert Houtenbrush, thank you very much for ten dollars. By the way, take a sip, takes a sip of coffee. Greetings from Colorado, you cheeky devil. It's a good thing Colorado isn't on the fucking map, otherwise I've burnt it to the ground, Robert. But thank you for your donation, nonetheless. Clockwork Orbros as well gave twenty dollars. Say my last electric kettle gave up the ghost. Been drinking unmicrowave tea for twenty-three months. You should name the empire the majestic sausage. I should do actually. When my kingdom gets large enough, I will I will need to actually start naming stuff, especially my sub kingdoms, because that's going to happen. Only oh my god! Not only did I catch my first Spiff stream, it's my favorite game. I know this game is amazing. Like Crusader Kings Three is by far my favorite game of all time. It's very 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 fun. Very very fun. Uh, right, what are you? You're Catholic. You hate me. You're Catholic. You hate me. You're Asatru, and you love me. You're brilliant. Jeez, do you want a seat on the council, lady? You are. God damn phenomenal. You might be 58, but f fucking hell. You can do some domestic affairs. No problem. Um, any bit council vassal man who doesn't hate me? Asatru and Czech. Issue is there's not much Czech cultural appreciation, which um, is one thing that's going to make our people a little bit upset, but that's fine. That's not too bad. Not too bad. All right, okay. Dave says, last time, if it happens again, I'll bail, which is fine. Um, just means we have one less player to help conquer the world. We can do it. Well, I mean, sorry, I can do it. Uh, it's a toss-up between Crusader Kings 3 and Elden Ring for you in terms of best game. <sighs> Come on, it's not even a contest. Like, I know Elden Ring's kind of fun, but it is not this game. This game is obscenely good. It is so goddamn good. It is amazing. Right, what I want to do is also find secrets in my own court. And the reason I want to do this is because if I can find secrets on my vassals, I can then force convert them, and that should make them happier. Plus, hooks deters them from joining factions against me, which is the plan. Oh. Nothing better than your allies abandoning their posts. Look, what can you do? He's... To be fair, Dave is from Yorkshire, but he's he's from like East Riding Yorkshire, not not you know, nice Harrogate area. We've got yeah, Richmond, Whitby, Scarborough. Oh, love a good bit of Scarborough beachside holiday. Go to Butlins in Scarborough, have bap and corn on cob. With what well, you get your baps out on beach, even though it's bloody freezing cold. Oh, you've got Kendall as well on the map. Kendall, home of the mint cake. If you don't know what mint cake is, it's the leading cause of diabetes in the north of England. 
It's basically just sugar. It's just a cube of mint flavored sugar and it's glorious. Oh, look at this. What a great set of lands. And oh, Oxford, the wonderful county of Oxenford. It's called Oxenford because it's where cows crossed the river because there's a ford across the River Thames for cows. What a great name. <laughs> the Romans were really inventive. <laughs> it, oh, yes, we've got a river. We've got cows and they go across the river. It's Oxenford. <laughs> God, you're brilliant as well, and you're friendly. Oh, potential friendship. Potential friendship with you, my friend. You could be a good, content little vassal. He's content as well. He's content. Oh, that's so good. Oh, I want him to be powerful and strong. Yes. Ah. Mint-flavoured sugar sounds... <laughs> it sounds awful. It's, uh, it's fine. It's genuinely fine. Is this a new version of Skyrim? Yeah, it's like Skyrim, but with more, more, more eugenics. I'd say There's, there is quite a decent amount of eugenics in this game. I won't lie. It's um, it's one of the leading focuses of this game. Actually, <laughs> it's trying to create the most perfect biological being, which we should do. We've got a we've got Queen Wadron here. Who has absurdly good stewardship. The reason you want a wife with good stewardship is she will randomly just give you money. And free money is just... Money solves every problem, okay? I remember reading a brilliant article about Oprah. It's like Oprah's top tips to living a stress-free life. I mean, she said a bunch of stuff about, you know, living a balanced life, healthy diet, sleeping well, all of that. But basically, it can be nailed down to just having a lot of money. Uh, the best way to not have stress is to have enough money where if stress comes along, you can just say, fuck off stress, I have a bunch of money, that's not a problem. Uh, so yeah, that's the kind of mindset we're, we're working towards today. <laughs> the fuck you, loads of money lifestyle. Oh, here we go, we got Dave in again. Hopefully fix this time. Oh. And if he can survive a month, we're on a bloody roll. Now, uh, one thing I am doing is I did petition liege. Choose a petition type. I can't do that because I'm currently busy paying homage to my liege. Choose homage gift. Oh dear, have I accidentally bugged the gift? I have. Oh, and Dave's dead. Right, I think that's it. I think that's it. Dave's Dave's dead. Dave's dead. Rip. Rip in peace. He tried. He tried. F in the chat, guys, for Dave. Uh, we've just got the word snow. Old Yeller has been taken outside of the well and he's been shot in the fucking head. Dave is dead. Everybody's dead, Dave. Why is it always Dave? It's not always Dave. He's a lovely guy. He's a lovely, lovely Yorkshireman. Well, Northerner. Very grounded individual. And uh, he comes... He has a very, very journeyed story. We both both come from Hearts of Iron 4 originally, but... he His is very much a career that was like... Anything other than his real-world job. In order to get out of it, he took it. And that was, that was Hearts of Iron 4. And, you know, it's a decision that ultimately saved him. But yeah, shame to see him go. We're down to three. Let's conquer the bloody world. Um, shame we can't. Shame we can't have the lad with us, but he'll live on. He'll live on in our hearts. And I was going to say and our balls, but that, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> live on in our balls. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> well, I've uh, I have technically bugged the game already because I've said I I pay homage to my liege, which I can't do. Oh. Neighboring vassal, would you think Ursula would serve me well as a concubine? Thank you, yeah, just give me a random woman as a concubine. Splendid, she'll do great. Yeah, she's temperate, she's vengeful, that's fine. She'll do great, let's get that get that converted. Oh, she won't accept, she doesn't like me. Ah, that's fine, oh, a high tent got constructed, so we now have a bigger army. Good, good, good. And yes, I have, I have definitely bugged the game. Oh. I hope it would not come to this, but I'm left with no option. I must resend your appointment as Marshal of the Holy Roman Empire effective immediately. What the heck? What the heck, Ottoman? Why am I not the Marshal? Go to this dude, he has nine Marshal skill. Nine. 
Do you have any idea who I am? Did he force his way onto the council with a hook? He did, didn't he? He did. <laughs> you fucking idiot, Ottoman. Why did you give them a hook? Why did you give him a hook? Oh my god. What a melon. Because of that, uh, I'm no longer my liege's marshal. That's fine. That's fine. We'll have to make do. Um, right, and I will have to declare a war in a little bit. What do I want? I want Brenner. Brenner's a good, good county. It's fine. It's not the best, not the worst. Alternatively, we could go for Croatia, which is... Would give us access to, like, Ragusa, which is a decent one. This one's also a decent one. I don't know. It's like Serbian territory, which is... It's a little bit out there, but... It is the kind of region that allows us to invade the steppes a bit easier, because we'd get closer. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, we've got a bit of bit of war. We've got this dude attacking, attacking a duke, this man, in a war of tyranny. Cool, good for you. Best game. Not gonna lie. Greetings from Sweden. Thank you very much for your 129 Swedish cronies. Is it? No, it's Krona, not not cronies. Um, the best best currency. Well, okay, it's not the best currency. It's a fine currency. Um, yeah, you're currently busy paying homage to your liege. Fuck, I beansed it, didn't I? Oh, I really beansed it. Um, well, that's going to be a bit awkward. Um, because now it basically means I can't participate in any activity. <laughs> Which is like the entire focus of this DLC. That's a bug. Uh, that's definitely a bug. Um, geez, that's a huge bug. Oh well, it'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Right, caravan master, you're good actually. Right, you become the caravan master. Court physician, no one is a good court physician. Antiquarian, you're fine. You're average. You'll do. Uh, master of horse is actually a decent one. Marshal, vassal, and commander, you're pretty good at it actually you'll take it you'll take it master of the hunt don't really need one of these but i could do with a personal champion there we go i want a personal champion because that extra prestige per month is big we're going to need that because prestige is used for wars that's ultimately good oh and there we go quill won his war he got he got the mine there you go that's immediately making one gold a month that's absurdly good so so good It's a speedrun, but he talks slow. That sounds like clickbait. Yeah, oh god, yeah, you're right. It's a speedrun. That means I've got to be like... I've got to be like a rap god. I was about to then attempt to break out into rap, and then I realised how bad an idea that would be. <laughs> I can't rap to save my life. Like, the least... least uh, potential for rapping imaginable. Okay, what are you? You're 13. You're... I could do with... I could really do with a... Um, I could really do with some knights that are actually of my own, of my own faith. But oh God, it would cost prestige. I do not have prestige. So let's commission an artifact. Um, let's go for armor. Something to boost my prowess, make me safer on the field of battle. Uh, we'll go for flexible chainmail. There we go. There we go. You know where you stand with chainmail. It's a good kind of thing. Oh. Uh, Spiff, please wrap WAP from memory. Uh, by WAP, if I believe you're referring to the hit Nicki Minaj classic, Wet Ass uh, Feline. Uh, no, I, I can't. I'm afraid I, I don't know the lyrics from memory. If you can, if you can believe it, that's not, that's not my usual jam in terms of music. Um, surprisingly, I know, I know. You wouldn't think so. But it's uh, just not my usual cup of tea. All right, what about you? You are getting raided. Oh, easy war then. Conquer County. Uh, we're going for the County of Brenner. Declare war. Let's get these troopies raised. Woo, raise all armies. Raise my dudes. Get these dudes raised. Can I use myself? No, I'm busy paying homage to my fucking liege. Oh my God. All right, so that means I'm never going to be able to lead my armies ever. Paradox, <laughs> you fucker. <sighs> you cheeky fuck. Oh my god. I was gonna be able to do war. 
and now I can't. <laughs> Well, I wonder if it means I'm technically safe because I don't think I can then be captured from a siege unless I'm going... I might actually need someone to abduct me. Um, I think that's genuinely the only way. I'm going to have to ask someone to attempt to abduct me. But I know I'm now going to basically be untargetable for things like murder plots, basically, because I, I just can't be captured. God, what a dumb thing indeed. I love this game. You can't make it up. <laughs> You can't. Ooh, faction created against Emperor Walter. The peasants are rebelling. Those classic peasants. Oh, Nope, don't go into there. Don't go into there. Let them have their fight. Actually, wait. Can I do my siege here? Or I can go... Oh, I'm, I'm accidentally going in because I lagged. Ooh, some renown is good. Now they're doing a fight and they're losing. I've got two kids on the way. Jeez, that's good. I work swift. And they siege down this holding. Um, you can create an accolade. No, I can't. I can't create an accolade. I don't have any knights for it. Of course I don't. Do my council like me more because I'm at war? It's hard to see. Not really. I mean, this dude's a Catholic, so he's not exactly that, that jazz with my existence. No, keep finding secrets, you melon. Pregnancy. Free... I've got free kids on the way. Bloody heck, I meant to be, like, going to visit my king. But meanwhile, jeez. Oh, Bounteous loins. I mean, more kids is more good. Uh, because effectively, we can enact high partition very easily. Oh, serve the crown. Yeah, let's go for that. Oh, and that's good. That's some good stuff. Serve the crown. Bam. Pop on that chainmail. Extra prestige. Extra prowess. Generally just superior stuff. Can I... Um, can I like try and start a fight with someone is there anyone who like hates me categorically who I can duel oh there we go we did a fight that's good fights are good they give us fame fame is good fame makes us more distinguished more distinguished is more good oh are you sieging down some vassal's land this, oh this man's Asatruan so we do actually like him we don't want him to fully die uh, have you played the Skyrim or Game of Thrones mods? I have, actually. The uh, the, the Skyrim mod is very busted in terms of balance. <laughs> you could, like, become an immortal necromancer and just spam out never-ending quantities of the undead. Oh, we won the war. We captured the king. That makes it nice and easy. Wabam! We get some fame, we take a county, and we can disband our men-at-arms. Lovely. Brandenburg is ours. A nice new bit of land for me to mess about with. I mean, we're probably not going to hold on to it. Brandenburg is it's okay, but we're mostly doing these wars for, for fame. No, keep finding secrets. Oh, first child born. She's a bastard. All right, let's name her after a donator. Um, we've got Zach Stearns donated. Zach Stearns. Go. Oh, and we've got another daughter. Jeez, we are just pumping these out. Uh, Igor. Igor Schaefer. You're in. Well, bam. Gosh damn, this is good. This is like some two kids already. I'm very happy with that. That's some good progress. Very, very good progress. Did I capture any other prisoners? No, I didn't. Okay, that's fine. Right, royal positions. Food taster, no. Royal architect, not needed. Oh, another daughter. Jeez. Uh, right, we'll go for Chris Campbell. Thank you very much for your $10 donation. Chris Campbell, you're in. It's good to have you back. It's been a while since I've seen you in a stream chat. Uh, so glad I got to finally catch a stream, particularly this one. Got my mother to pick up Crusader King, so you know. Uh, so you know well that I'm for... So you know well that I'm forwarding all your CK3 vids to her as learning material. Look, if your mum's getting into Crusader King 3, all I'm saying is just... At the next, at the next like, family meal you have, bring a food taster with you. Um, she might have some unknown grudges that you just were buried deep in there that you had no idea about. Uh... <laughs> Oh dear. Oh yeah. D do I need to turn my personal deity? I thought I already did. Yes, I did. Okay. Um, I basically need to try and form a rival. Is what I need to do. Because I need a rival to try and duel. Or at the very least, is there anyone I could just casually duel? Nope. Can I play chess with someone? Nope. Oh, this is going to get awkward. This is going to get very awkward. <laughs> oh, what's this? Peasant rabble want to send an automaton. Oh, they're pathetic. Don't need to worry about peasant rabble. 
Oh my god, there's some bassy music going on. I wonder if I if I attack you for one of my vassals' claims. No, I can't. Okay, because I know this dude here basically has a claim on the entirety of the Kingdom of Hungary. Oh, I could demand his conversion. He is just a child. Convert. Come on, child. Come on. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. You know you want to. As a true a hip religion. That's what all the kids are doing. You bastard. How dare you. Henry VIII moment. Look. Bunch of daughters. They're good. We can use them for we can use them for alliances. That's what I'm thinking. Actually, do any of my other friends have, have kids yet? Nope. Emperor Walter has no kids. Only one comp concubine pathetic. Quill has a daughter, so yep. Yeah, no marrying off there just yet. He needs a son. Right. Okay, that was a good first war. We could do a second one. How's Pomerania looking? Uh, they're attacking and they're defending. I mean, they have got 2,500 men. They've picked up some mercs. You haven't picked up any mercs, which actually makes you quite vulnerable. So, you know, I'll go for you. County of Oborientia. That will do nicely. Declare war. Move my forces over to Brandenburg. Raise all. And who am I missing? I'm missing a spy master. What happened to my last one? Did he just spontaneously die? Oh, wow. You are good, Duchess. You are good. Oh, if you find stuff, that's going to be wonderful. All right, over here we go. Let's get some sieging done. In fact, actually, let's go for the fight. If we can get the fight, that's even better. Uh, no, I wouldn't be so certain. Keep searching. Yeah, he did die. He died of old age. I suppose he was 65. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. You don't hear music either. Come on, look. There's a there's music going on in the background, you guys. Come on. I have to I have to like set this music up very effectively ahead of time. You fleeing? Are you fleeing, you coward? You absolute coward. Come back here. Oh god, he's just going to run away, isn't he? You try and fight these bastards and they just they just hide. They just hide from you. No matter how hard you try. Oh. It's super quiet though. Fine, Connor. I'll rev it up a bit. Let's get some music up. There we go. That's like twice as loud, okay? God, it feels like I'm in a fucking pure gym in the UK. Pure gym's just pumping out Katy Perry fireworks at like 4 a.m. every time without fail. Oh, love this this classic AI maneuver of going bankrupt because you decided to move your, your entire army into the sea for no reason. Actually, are you Catholic? You are, but you're terrified of me. You'll probably accept, actually. Let me ask you to convert. Less likely to not accept with that. Come on, come on. Yes! She gets a weak hook on me. You're in. She converted. She's perfect. There we go. Good job. Good job, woman. That's what, that's what we like. Smart, loyal, converting. Knowing you can become a necromancer with the Skyrim mod makes me want to play as it play England as it in real life, you know. I mean, to be fair, you know, that's basically what our monarchy, monarchy is. If you didn't know, the British monarchy is actually just a generational old necromantic cult. Um, yep, yeah, they live off of the blood plasma of London street urchins. Trust me, trust me. I've seen it happen live. <laughs> the King Charles just descends upon an orphanage. It's, it's real, it's real, trust me. Um, anyway, right, there we go. That should be an easy easy siege. And that's basically a third of his kingdom. No, nope, keep it up. Emperor Walter has declared war on King Igni of Sweden. Nice. Should we win that? Yeah, 7,000 troops versus 1,000. That's an easy win. That's a really easy win. Right, come on, yes. No, I want to fight you. Let me fight you, you bastard. Come back. Come back. Yes, we've got him. We've got him. Easy peasy. Alright, uh, we want to do more fights because more fights gives more level of fame. And that's very nice. Oh, we picked up a, a blind eunuch. Mystic. What an incredible man. I could kill him and gain piety. Yeah, why not? That's uh, Piety's piety. And there we go, enforced demands. That is yet another bit of land for our empire. 
Let's find a nice vassal to give it to. Grant to... Oh, you are very good. Jeez, look at you. Brilliant strategist, traveler, aggressive attacker. You're the kind of dude I want. Go have that. Do good with it. Okay, we're getting up to distinguish nicely. Oh, royal court. Anything up? God, yeah, I'm not even in my own... I can't even hold court because I'm busy paying homage to a liege that I can't even get to. <gasps> Sword of God, when did I have this? Do I just start with this? That's that's very good. I like that. All right, do I want chivalry dominance or bella just? This one's good for sieging, but I think knight effectiveness is just good at the start. So is honestly, so is a man's home. It's very good for defensive wars. Not that I think we're going to have many. Uh, this this is good for paying for prestige, I guess. Yeah, okay. We're probably going to be declaring a lot of wars anyway, so it's good. Oh, God damn it, I'm chivalry focused rather than strategy focused. I need to fix that in a few years' time. That's a mistake. Strategy is just a lot better. How are you? You're doing good. We get 510 levies from you. That's nice. We could increase that a bit with barracks, but I don't really know if they're worth it. What have we got stationed here? Horses. Horses. Uh, they're not the best. I mean, blacksmiths are okay, but they don't really give us additional troops, which we don't really want. It's a good job you guys are hoping to be done in one or two lifetimes. I hate to see the family circle you'd all end up with by, by one three hundred. Yeah, that would be a nightmare. God. Yeah, we've got to. That's one of the things you have to do in, in these kinds of world conquests. You've got to get them done within one lifetime, else you run into huge problems. Oh, we got a new woman. Brilliant. I mean, she's married to someone. Well, she's mine. <laughs> she's mine now. <laughs> she's an organizer. Brilliant. Congratulations, you're my new concubine. Welcome to the family. Please give me some more children. The more, the best. Can't wait to become one of your kids. Make sure I'm pretty, okay? Gotta be honest, most of the, I mean, this one's barren. Chris Campbell, I'm sorry, but you're barren. I mean, that's fine. Let's uh, let's take your focus, make you uh, let's make you good at stewardship. It's daughters are generally brilliant when they're stewardship focused. You're also going to be good. What about you? Which one's my actual daughter heir? You are. Yeah, your stewardship focus. Ah, oh, there you go. You want to. Uh, Feudal negotiations have been... Okay, you want no contribution to feudal levies. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it doesn't really matter handing out hooks to your own empire because it doesn't really make a difference. Hey, Spiff, just join the stream. Are we conquering Cumbum again? Eventually, yeah. I'm just waiting to get up enough piety so I can... Uh, I can do wars like that. Ooh. This would be a good war. You've only got 1,000 men. Yeah, let's go for it. County. We want something on the coast. Uh, what is this? Oh, wait, peasants. There we go. Yes, peasants. Rally the troops. Rally the troops. Move the troops over to here. Do, 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 do. And raise all armies. Where is where is he going? Where are you fleeing to, you fool? Where is this? Where are you going? Okay, it's fine. We'll hunt down those peasants, no problem. Oh, your liege lost. What? Your liege lost their war with King Philippe? That's embarrassing. That's very embarrassing. Because the county of Venison? Seriously, just one county? That's what he did? That's terrible. You gotta go for more than just one county. If you're gonna go if you're gonna get a peace treaty with France, you've gotta gotta go for a big war. <gasps> We've got a son! This is big. He's gonna be the heir. Um Right, let's give it to uh, let's give it to anyone want the sun. This one's a big one. This one's a big one. Hold on, we need a new councillor, new marshal. Oh my God, Duchess Margaret, you old sixty-one-year-old marshal woman, you're gonna be brilliant. Jeez, 23. 23 marshal. That's obscenely good. That's so good. That's so good. Alright, anyway, I need to finish up this uh, 
is Peasant Uprising. Locals pacified, job done, disband all men, send, send them down. What's enter entertaining is we actually make more money when our armies are raised than when they're, they're lowered. We do, 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 do. Oh, shit, I forgot to rename my son. I think I can do that retroactively. Yes, I can. That's fine. We can fix that. Fix that in post. Zach Stearns wants the boy to be named Zach. Very well. Zach. King Zach. Here we go. Zach. Zach. Well, bam. Son Zach. It's going to be a good boy. New religious movement has founded... Oh, cool. A new religious movement has been founded in Poland. That's going to cause some problems. Um, oh! Catholics now have access to Crusades. Fuck. Oh, that could be bad. That can be bad. If we're not careful, we can get targeted by that. We just have to hope that we don't piss off the Pope, basically. Which county is this? How is that pronounced? Pom Pomjuri, there we go. Pomjur, Pomorgi, the Pomorgi. Uh, let's move our men at arms raising point to here. Uh, let's get an extra catapult. I could do with that. Oh, new daughter, right? Bam! Give it to Reese. Thank you very much, Reese Longdon. Uh, Reese, the daughter. Uh, and yes, there we go. Some more catapults, please. More catapults is faster, faster army fighting. Okay. That's how you got to remember it. Right, what are we on? We're on. He is from GameStar at six. Oh, God, it's such an annoyance that I don't. I genuinely don't have access to my king because I accidentally. I accidentally yeeted him into the. I, I tried to exploit with him. Basically, that's my fault. It's my fault. Never try and exploit with your king because you never know when you're gonna bugger him. Don't quote that. Um, ooh, faction created against me. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Okay. The Pope is trying to launch a crusade for the kingdom of of feedback. Uh let's have a call. Let's start a voice call. Oh my god. Hello lads. This is fine. <laughs> I figured yeah. this happened. Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah, I really thought you target someone else, but you know what? I think we can do this. And if we do it, the the Catholics can't basically they can't call a crusade for a millennia. So what we basically want to do is you want to um just siege Rome really quickly, which we can do because of course we have Italy. So uh -huh. we we really should actually be able to win this without a problem. We just have to kind of blitz siege Rome. So I can recruit a bunch of catapults. If you guys make sure you have catapults in your stacks, we should be fine. Okay. I have I have two stacks of catapults. Or two two of five mangonels. Good stuff. Um, another thing that I should probably also mention, by the way, Otto and Welshman, is uh, my character is actually bugged trying to um, trying to go to your court uh, to pledge submission. Um, <laughs> because we, I started doing that, and then you saved the game, and then you reloaded that save. So my character is basically stuck oh, in no. transition permanently. Uh, oh. So the only way to get out of that is for someone to abduct me. Um, but I don't think that's going to be happening. <laughs> uh, well, I think if I do it, um, oh, you might actually, you might be able to imprison me. If you can imprison me and then release me, that would be amazing. It's a little bit of tyranny, but uh, yeah, try that. Hold on. Yeah, you gain uh, some dread for it. I'll accept. And then, can you release me? Oh yes, not for not for like uh, without a bribe though. That's I fine. Love that's fine. I can uh, I can ransom myself for. No no, no no no. I'm a, I'm a nice lad. You can oh, leave. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness! I can now. Um, oh, this is brilliant. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, you're very welcome. Can I, I have no problem in prison you anytime you need. <laughs> no, it's still fucked. I am still trying to visit you. <laughs> Fuck my life. Oh, oh, you got a ton of kids. Jeez, you're actually getting ready. Look, so I'm I have to warn you, though. Pumping out those babies. I have to warn you. If you die before we reform the religion, I think y you can't use Visigothic codes. Like, we have to be a reformed religion to use Visigothic codes and put it to primogenitor. Uh, I guess we do, don't we? Yeah. yeah. Good news is you've only had one son, so you're actually kind of chilling on that front. Yeah, it's fine. I can send the others off to die. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, this will be good. Okay, so yeah, Crusade's coming. We've got um, 18 months. So I'm going to do a quick war with... Uh, uh, Duke, Duke La, Duke Ledger, yeah, and then yeah, when the crusade starts, raise basically and try and gather in uh, Spoleto, if that makes sense. And if the Pope has a big army, we want to bait it into fighting in the mountains around uh, Abruzzi, and then swing into Rome, siege it down, potentially capture the Pope, that kind of goodness. Well, cool, okay, yeah, I think uh, cumulatively we have 10k people, so well, that's only be, you uh... when when we join in, that's 3k from Quill, that's three point. Uh, 3,800 for me as well. Uh, oh, okay. Extra join in as well. So I've pledged myself to the crusade. Yes. Is anything else I need to do to do it right? No, just need Maybe to Maybe I didn't even need to do it. that. I don't know. Yeah, just pledge and that's it. Um, right, yeah. Let's uh, let's begin and continue. Okay, cool. See you, guys. See you guys for the crusade. See ya. There we go. Everything's going fine, guys. Don't worry. It's just a casual crusade. Everyone loves these. They're, they're good for you, probably. Um, actually, whilst the game's paused, let me get some militia camps. Abort. Click. Construct. Abort. Click. Construct. Abort. Click. Oh. And construct. There we go. There we go. Come on, did that glitch? Did it? No, nope, it's normal, I think, maybe. Oh, my God. It's actually increasing. Did it just go? No. Okay, no, it's fine. It's normal. Oh, beans, they unpaused the game. My wife's pregnant again. Jeez, this woman. She provideth. The woman provideth. My liege one is war against King Igni. So that means, yep, okay, we have the... Um, that means we now have a new holy site here, which is very good because this is uh, plus 1% monthly piety per night we have, which is very good. That's a good boost. We then just need this holy site and this holy site which shouldn't be and also Kiev. do we need all of them or is it just three of them oh uh i could appoint someone who's called jester i could gain some piety uh prestige yeah we actually just want prestige more prestige is more good because we can become distinguished and that's so powerful <gasps> look at that they've raised up some armies now they really have have we got a better better commander for this maybe hostile faith advantage Actually, what faith are you? You're Catholic. Uh, this one might not actually be a win. Yeah, it's looking balanced. It's looking very balanced. Because they get the defending bonus. I mean, who knows? Do we get hostile faith advantage? I think we do. Yeah, we should have We should have fought this on planes. Right, that's fine. That's a retreat. Pull back. Don't worry, we're, we're Visigoths, so the actual retreating effect isn't too, too bad. We lose a few thousand men, but it's okay. It's okay. Oh, actually, we hardly have any archers. That should be fixed. Archers are brilliant. Get me some archers, please. Jeez. Let's get those bad boys up. We. No, my kingdom. Don't worry, Dave. We're going to save your kingdom. Everything's fine. 12 months. Who's attacking? We've got uh, the bold of East Anglia. Okay. Pisa is attacking. Hungary. The Dunapula. Some dude in Norway. Yeah, quite a few people. Quite a few people. That's okay. I might need to white piece you potentially, depending on how it goes. Actually, jeez, why have you got... Did you did you get even more men? No, you didn't. Oh, another son. Lovely. Um, you're going to be called Christine. Thank you, Christine Newblood, for your generous donation. Christine Newbold. Sorry, Newbold. Um... Give Georgie the Corgi cuddle for me. I will do when I next see her, which should be soon. What do I want? Uh, siege weapon effectiveness. Yep, that's going to really help with the crusade. I'm going to actually want to make sure that I have maxed out my catapults. Uh, oh, I can appoint my woman as a court poet. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really good idea. That's a really, really good idea. Okay, men at arms, you are... You should be good now. You're going to be better... Or are you? Fatal casualties, yeah. You seem fine. Um, Alright, let's go for this war. I think we, we just want to probably go on a boat and then land is our best bet. We've got to get this done fast. Seven months? Oh, you know what? Okay, we, yeah, we can't. We've, we've, got to, we've got to land in Italy. Get ready for the great Popey Crusade. Get as many catapults up as we can.
Okay. Okay, okay. The great Pope Wars are upon us. They always are. And that Pope loves a good Pope War. Okay, Ottoman has raised up his armies here, which is good. We're going to want to make sure that they're relatively spread out so we don't attrition each other. But basically, war should start, and then, yeah, we're just going to blitz straight. Oh my god, he's raiding! I forgot we could raid! Is he going to raid the Pope before the war even begins? What a baller move. What an absolutely... What a Chad... Chad move. The, the absolute... Absolute grind on this man. Alright, let's also recruit some mercenaries because it's a good idea. Um, you're pretty cheap. Let's hire you. Come on around, my booty dudes. You can, uh, you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna walk around. That's okay. Oh my god, how much money is he gonna make from this? He's got 800 raid loot capacity. Because effectively, he, with this, he could probably just buy a merc company. 67 gold, that's nice. That's really nice. Another son. A beautiful son. To be fair, I think Chris wanted a beautiful child and instead got a a barren child. <laughs> oh dear, I'm just gonna name this a name this after an ancestor spiff. Okay, I'll rename that child once the war's over. Because we are about to have Pope War, 37 days. Ottawa needs to get out of there because I think when the war starts, I think he does He does lose it, right? His raid money. Could be wrong. Also, Quill needs to actually raise up his troops. Quill desperately needs to raise up his troops. Please, Quill. Please raise your troops. Please, my boy. Ooh, potential court healer. Here we go. Crusade begins. In we go. We gotta go straight in. Come on. Come on, Ottoman. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Oh, they wanna actually fight us on a hill. Please fight us on a hill. Okay. Actually, they're just running for it. Yeah, let's go in and help. In we go. If we can uh, get this done, this will be a nice easy fight. Of course, we've got my lovely Calberos, which work brilliantly on this terrain. So 10,000 men. That should be the Pope's main army. Defeated very nicely. Oh, my queen wants to win my heart. Lovely. You definitely want to have romances when possible. Oh, what's this? Inspired artifact. Uh, forge re regalia. Why not? Go for it. You're competent. I could do with some competent regalia. And yep, look at this. My catapults plus 2.2 for those catapults. That is huge. Absolutely huge. We just want to siege Rome down ASAP. It doesn't matter if they start occupying Dave's kingdom because basically you just need to knock out the Pope. And then the Pope just has to give up. Um, are we getting attacked by these guys? No. We'll get this war done nice and quickly. All right, that was a good, good fight. Oh, counties in populist faction. Against your liege. Goddamn populist factions. 26 months until they can send their demands. Oh, that's no problem. How is the siege going? Hopefully we've knocked down a wall or two, right? Yep, we have large wall breach. Oh, we might as well just assault. Go for it. Come on. Yep, four days. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, we stole. I stole the fine guide of the esoteric from the Pope. Yes. Right, on to the next holding. On to the next one. Thank you, Pope, for your lovely book. I like book. Good book. And I captured Pope Alexander's court here. This woman. Oh, she's good. Oh, she's good. You will be recruited and you will be converted. Welcome. And you are about to become... My Franconian Catholic Uprising. I will aid my liege against these rebels. That's fine. We can do that. Um, that's fine. We've got a Catholic Uprising, but don't worry. We'll deal with that. We'll deal with that secondly. Uh, that's a secondary issue. The Crusade comes first. The Crusade does come first. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, let me get some... Prestige, come on, there we go, I'm now glorious. Come on, we've just got to siege down this Pope. Siege down the Pope. Have we got anyone sieging my land? Got someone sieging Prague. That's not really a problem, they're just peasants. They'll be defeated quite easily. Just got to make sure I can uh, 
deal with Popeland. Additional taxes, 108 gold. Oh, that's good. That is so good. Oh, and my player and son is bossy. Good job, boy. I need to train you to be a uh, marshal. I should probably educate you myself. Um, bam. Nice gift of 15 gold. All right, this should be another county occupied of the Popes. Come on, there we go. All right, 45% on the Pope. After this, we just need to win a few battles against the Pope, and then the war should be over. Although they have occupied some of the Kingdom of Daves. Do, 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 do. Chaos King, name your son after me. You know, that is actually a decent name. All right, son, you're going to be Chaos King now. Chaos King. Thank you very much, Chaos King, for your donation. Up, oh, Chaos Kim. You know what? Fuck it. That's your name now. <laughs> oh, God. What a brilliant name. Right. Uh, yeah, this should be one kingdom nicely occupied. The Pope literally being fully occupied should should kick him out of this war, really. But he just he just loves it. He just really wants to fight. Bless him. I mean, we just need to win a few battles against some of their armies. And if we can do that... Easy win. That's the hope, at least. Come on, there we go. Right, this is now 100% Pope-based occupation. The Pope cannot be occupied more than this. And we've also got some populists to put down. All right. I guess I will just follow my, my liege up north and help him with some fights. Potentially catch out some of these... Uh, these populists that have sieged down Prague. Do, 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 do. Honestly, I suppose I could try and uh, pick up a, uh, a an alliance with Prussia. You could do good. Finland, maybe? How many troops have you got? Finland. You'll do good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get an alliance going. Chieftain Osto. Oh, magnificent regalia. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, right, can I call you to war? Call to war? Bohemian Conquest? Yeah, you can help me in the conquest of the one county that I've basically neglected. All right, let's go and help with this. All right, I've got to go help my liege here. This, uh, actually, it looks like he's doing fine. Yeah, he's doing fine. Yeah, he's winning that. No problem, good stuff. Well, let's pop on my regalia. What is this? Plus 3% money, some prestige, very good. Prestige is so powerful and so useful. Do, 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 do. All right, Pope, look. Popey, you are fully occupied, my friend. Fully occupied. Oh, and I've, I've, I've got some peasants that want to seed. Yes, I do. 12 months until peasants get grumpy. Oh, my God. And look at the supply issues they're having over here. Oh, we need to get over there and fight them. I need somewhere with hills. Somewhere with hills and potentially a fort. What have you got? That's a plains. Uh, this isn't the worst. Come on, give me a fort on a hill. What are you? You're a fort on a hill. You're a fort on a hill with defender advantage plus four. Yes, you are the perfect. You are the perfect region. Bouillon. Over to Bouillon. Oh, yes. Let's get this bad boy raised. Oh, and I can pick up a new lifestyle perk. Chivalric dominance for night effectiveness, or do I want organized march? Or pursuit. No, we need night effectiveness. More knights, more good. The better they are, the better it is for me. Okay, I need, I need actually my al allies over here, because otherwise it's just, uh, it's you yeah, have that suicide. Look at that. When they try and reinforce it, that's suicide. Okay, it looks like, looks like they're going for the uh, Catholic uprising instead. I have got the Pope's armies chasing me through the land a bit, which is good. The more we can mess up their supply lines, the better. Because currently they are just all getting attritioned into the ground, which is generally speaking what we want. So yeah, I will just skirt along the uh, the ridgeways, be a nuisance, and try not to get picked off. The nuisance of Luxembourg. That's my plan. Oh, actually, it looks like we've got a big, uh, big old Catholic fight over here. I can go help with that. Oh, we've got Quill down here, sieging some land. I mean, the issue with this is, yeah, it's a big fight, but basically once we once we win one crusade, that should be all of them sorted forever. 
Uh, we will just never have a problem with a crusade again. God, I'm late to this fight. This is a bit awkward. And I joined in. There we go. And my wife's pregnant. Lovely. Right. What is this? Uh, a tiny army dicking about. Don't need to worry about that. We've got uh, some papal forces here going into Aachen. That could be good. This is planes, if I remember correctly. Planes could be very useful. Come on, just give me some attrition. Give me some, like, show me some weakness. I just need to see some weakness from these troops. Just some kind of weird overextension that I can capitalize upon. Maybe a river crossing on a hill. Um, this one is Plains River Crossing. We could actually do quite well from this. Got another Plains River Crossing over here. Right, come on, Ottoman, come on. Yes, he's sending some troops over. Yes, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on. There we go. We've got planes here. Balanced. Okay, don't don't move into that actually. Mercenary contract expiring. I can extend that, no problem. Okay, how do we want to do this? Okay. Owner is slightly in debt is good. That's a really good sign for us. Have we got any defensive structures here? One, just a castle walls. That's not very good. Uh, meanwhile, you, how are you? You would have been good. Your plains, castle hill. I really think we need some kind of like hill advantage, and Ottawa needs to fix his supply issues because they are not very good. Oh, I can call in Finland. I can't call you into anything actually. Do 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 do. Right. Let's. Uh, should we go for a fight? We could try it. Shit. Okay, I moved in by mistake. Fuck. Oh, the game lags. Come on, lads. Lads, you need to reinforce. You need to reinforce this. Nope. No reinforcements. Okay. Fuck. Guys, come on. Come on, guys. You had one job. Reinforce. Reinforce this. Ah, oh, that was a fucking stack wipe. Fuck off. That was a stack wipe. Oh. Right. We are going to need warfare for the increased knight effectiveness. I'm going to have to switch my counselor to. Where are you? Uh, levy reinforcement rate? Yep, that's fine. And then I need to move my mustering point over here. There we go. Let's hire. And let's hire. Merge you. We'll fight these peasant revolts with some uh, some very simple plebs, basically. Oh my god, the war against... Oh, there we go. We won one populist uprising. Leads one war against the Catholic populist uprising. That's a good good thing, actually. All right, 2,700 bloody populists there. Peasant revolts. This is the problem with peasant revolts. They just they just summon out of the woodwork. You can't stop them. This has been quite the uh, debacle, I would say. Have I got any more daughters I could marry off? Chris Campbell, you could get married to this guy. This would be quite a worthy alliance. Let's get this done. And then call you to war for the bohemian conquest of this land. Thank you very much. And then 2,800 men should be enough to win this peasant fight. Surely I've got a better commander than that. Yeah, you'll do great. Okay, I'm on in. Champion was wounded by an enemy soldier. Oh yeah, I need a um, I need a uh, court physician, don't I? Everyone's poor quality. You seem fine. You've got the actual core physician trait. Right. Um, okay, that is one peasant revolt put down. Good stuff. Thank you nicely. This crusade for um, for, for the kingdom of Dave is uh, not going well. Especially not with peasant revolt sieging down Rome itself. But if I come on over here, we should have enough men to win one fight. I've done my part. Okay. I did a fight. Yes, I was expecting my allies to join in 
and support me with said fight, but that's okay. You can't win them all. Right. Are my allies sending troops over to assist with my my little invasion? My little invasion of uh, Dol Dolgia land. In fact, actually, you know, we could get another we could get another alliance off, couldn't we? Oh yes, I can get a soulmate. Yeah, what a good idea. Splendid idea. Oh, we got a fight going on here. Oh, it's a rough one. That's not a good one. That is not a good one at all. Look at the men at arm counters. Why are we fighting on... What is this? This is hills? We do have armoured horsemen, but yeah, that's just not enough. That's just not enough men. And the commander's not good enough. Only 23. Oof. Oof. My men are not here to reinforce in time. Uh, okay, I think that crusade is a loss. Which is fine, just means we lose an entire wing of our kingdom. But they won't be able to declare another crusade for like 20 years, which is okay. So, means I now have to come over here and uh, fix my war goal. Oh, I've got a new new ruler. Vladimir the Impaler is the new leader of, of this territory. Okay, cool. Duke Vladimir formed a new alliance with Duchy of Istria. Okay, cool. Well, they're one of my vassals, so they won't be able to be called into the war. But, um, yeah. I have told the others that we should release, uh, get rid of this kingdom, because there's no way we can hold on to it. There's just absolutely no way. What a mess. So be it. So be it. So much money they get as well. But there we go. The Kingdom of Feedback is gone. King Jordan of Feedback is now the Crusader King of that land it's okay it's not the worst not the best sucks but we will still be able to uh, hopefully win this county over in a war right have I got new court artifacts is that what I'm being told nope uh, first time seeing a live stream with the Spiff and Brit time to grab a bottle of tea yes you need to grab a bottle of tea my friend it's not f it, it's a good idea Everyone needs a lovely cup of tea. God, is this war going to end with a peace before I can even get over there? I think it might be. Yep, that's 100%. You can just ask ask for peace. Yep. Fuck. Oh, you bastard. You absolute cocking bastard. Oh. Oh. Okay, looks like we're going to have to try raiding, guys. <laughs> we're going to have to have to give raiding a go. That should be fine, though. Um, how many raiders can I raise? Because I am now in crippling debt. Absolute crippling debt. 2,400 raiders. What can I raid with that? Kingdom of Denmark? They are completely pillaged. Kingdom of Sweden is pretty much completely pillaged. Hungary, how are you? 4,700 troops? Uh, Croatia, there we go. We can pillage Croatia. Let's go raid the Croatian borderlands. Oh dear, one of my door. Oh my god, my son's a leper. Jesus Christ. Uh, be cautious. Do whatever you can. There we go. That's a successful treatment. Um, well, who would like my who would like my grizzled son? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Who would like my sweet, sweet bumpy boy? Oh dear. Zach is the leopard. Yes! Okay, right, Zach. Zach the leopard. Jeez. Oh, good lord. Anyone wants the leopard? Um, Mellow, Mellow Apocalypse. Uh, Mellow Apocalypse, why not? Thank you for being a channel member. Mellow Apocalypse. I've spelt this completely wrong, probably. That's fine. You'll be a sweet, 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 sweet bumpy boy. My lovely, sweet, sweet bumpy boy. <laughs> Oh my goodness, right. What are you raising up? 3,000 men. Ah, you've determined you can't win. Good. Good, 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 good. That makes it an easy pillage. Can I command my own men yet? No, because I'm busy paying homage to my liege who I don't actually have. Oh dear. Silly, silly, silly. And let's go grab this money. Money, money, money. Oh, inheritance. Jeez. What the heck did I inherit? From Duchy of Corinthia. Nice. Wow, okay, well that's um I should probably grant that to one of my kids. Uh 
my son. You're fine. What have you got? Two. Yeah, you've got a decent stewardship. I should, I should give it to my beautiful son, shouldn't I? Because he'll be able to hold it. Right. Chaos Kimb. Have the... Have it. You brilliant, glorious boy. He should be able to hold on to that. I should be able to forge an alliance with him as well. There we go. And I need a new Chancellor. You will do nicely, won't you? Yeah, you're, you're good. You're good. And there we go. We've got a new... new uh, well, new alliance, basically, with one of our boys, my sweet, sweet boy. It's such a shame we lost that entire kingdom. 7,000 troops they've got as well. So they're going to be able to hold on to that, basically, no problem. Another son. Right, Zala, congratulations. Thanks for being a channel member. You're in. Uh, congrats. We are just pumping out kids like nobody's business. All right, we'll siege this place. Actually, let's go to this place. This place is worth more. This place, just nine gold isn't even worth it for the attrition. Kind of just need more. What's the capital? Like 33? It's not bad. Not bad. But I think these are worth more, ultimately. Any plans for when you hit 4 million subs? Honestly, I don't know. Like, chat, do you have any ideas about what you'd want for 4 million subscribers? Is there, like, any ultimate goals you'd, you'd think would be really cool? What's this? What, someone wants one of my prisoners. Uh, he's a genius child. God, he'd be good, actually, to have as just, like, a, a marriage partner, potentially. Um, good. Master of the horse. You, you're pretty decent, actually. You'll be fine. And Seneschal would be a good, a good one to have as well. Give it to my woman. Watch you, peasant leader. Actually, no. Let's give it to give it to her. She's fine. She's fine. She'll do good. Right, ten gold and then ten gold. What is this? Breslav has claims on. What does he have claims on? Kingdom of Hungary. Within a year, I shall act on your behalf. Yeah, we could actually declare war for the Kingdom of Hungary, couldn't we? Um, I mean, I don't actually have the ability to to declare a war because I'm in too much debt. But, you know, that would be nice. I, I agree, it's a nice idea to try and declare that war. Liam for the name. Okay, right, Liam. Uh, try and find a kid that I can call Liam. God, we've got so many kids now. We've got... Jesus Christ. Look at him. We've got so many potential... Fuck it out. He's ill. This child is ill. But he's already up to seven marshal. What a power kid. Like, just an obscenely good, powerful kid. Ooh, marry you off to someone who's quick. That's a good idea. Bam. Go. And mercenary contracts are expiring. That's fine. We don't need them. We don't need those mercenary contracts. We don't need them. Stop telling me about them. Right, get, just get these men over the border. Drop off that money. There we go, 100 gold. 100 gold. Lovely stuff. Right, where can we raid next? Venice? Yo, yeah, we can. Unable to raid across sea? Damn it. Okay, well, we can raid the castle. Rimworld stream, but super chats can give benefits or problems. I would love that. So, it's one thing that I really want to do is get the, um, get the men at arms mod for... Um, Sorry, not Men at Arms. Get the Crusader Kings mod that um, allow... Sorry, not Crusader Kings. The Rimworld mod that allows Twitch chat to influence, yeah, as you say, the actual game itself. It's, it's what I really want to get set up. Because imagine a game of, like, Rimworld where you guys are just endlessly fucking with me and I'm trying to survive. I think it could be immensely entertaining. Um, so, yeah, it's something I want to do, but currently the game doesn't allow it. And when it does, I will do it. Oh, my God, what's up with my son? Wounded. Good lord. Um, be cautious. Yeah, try and save that boy. Save, save that. Uh, aggravated the wound. Well, it's potentially not looking good for my boy. <laughs> my lovely player and son. Oh dear. My sweet, sweet baby boy. Am I being raided? I am. Okay, my wife lost a child. That's okay. We've certainly got enough. There's a lot of them out there. Oh yes, we are getting raided up here. That's fine. And we're also now at the point where we can declare duchy conquests, which is very nice. So potentially declaring war on, say, maybe like Apula could be a decent idea, or Pomerania. The duchy of Pomerania is controlled by a three-year-old child. So, yeah, I get the feeling that that could be an easy one. Right, let's deposit off our money. 
Right. Does a pooler have troops? No, it's being pillaged by my king. I need to get back into my own land, don't I? Yep. Yes, I do. Right, drop off, drop off the men and the loot. God, it sucks being at deck because you can basically do nothing. Absolutely nothing. Uh, your sun is beautiful on the inside. Um, sure. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's getting there. Um, could we find someone to marry him? <laughs> I don't know. Not many people are that fussed. Uh, maybe this lunatic woman or this beautiful woman. I mean, that could be a, a perfect balanced mix. Yes. Lovely mix. Oh, my goodness. All right, one moment chat. I've got a cup of tea being delivered. I am back. I'm back, chat. Hello, hello, hello. So yes, I've now have a lovely cup of tea because mangoes dropped one off for me, which is very nice indeed. Uh, my men are slow. Leech goes to war. Club war on the king of Rafania. What for? Holy war for the principality of Kiev. Are we seriously doing a war for once again just a single province? Oh wait, no, we're doing it for <gasps> Zach. No, my boy. Well, rip. There goes the air. <laughs> There's a new air in town. Oh dear. Okay, that's um, Kristen. Uh, Kristen Teen. Oh, the Swedes are bold people. Actually, the Visgothics are of superior moral fiber. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Everyone knows of the superior moral fiber of the Visgoths. I know. I do actually. I do need to swear you, don't I? You infirm old bastard. Actually, could I just replace you with someone who likes me? You could do it. You're you kind of no, actually, you're terrible still. Oh dear. All right, I need more troops still. I can't go to war because I'm in debt. Does your land have any money? No, it's all been raided. God damn, this is a, literally everything has been raided. I can't raid you because you have a garrison of two thousand three hundred. Actually, I can. You don't have any loot. Mm, these guys don't really have enough loot either. What about you? You are getting raided already. Which I think you're being attacked. You have been raided. I, literally, it's just Hungary I could go for. Or Poland. But the issue is Poland will try and fight because they have enough men. Could I win that fight? I don't know. I don't think my men at arms are necessarily good enough. Oh, what is this? A daughter, a son and a daughter accept. There we go. Let's get let's get a alliance with the Holy Roman Emperor. So that is uh, now a new alliance between our two peoples. Very very good, strong, strength in numbers. That's the plan. All right. Do 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 do. Yeah, I just need more cash. Just need more gold. I guess I can just raid more of Croatia. Fine, that's what we have to do, don't we? Actually, what are we up to? We are now up to 4,000 troops. 4,000 troops is good. It's a lot of men. It's a lot of men. I just don't want to lose my army to some random nonsense. Can I raid into Pomerania? Have they been raided? No, they haven't. Okay, right. Raise all raiders. Let's go. We're going to raise up our troops. Ooh, someone is trying to murder one of my concubines. Well, she's 45 now, so she can't make any more kids, so that's fine. We can uh, we can give, we can we can spare a woman or two. Um, that's fine. Oh, you, my lovely champion with the increased raid speed, you are going to do wonders, my friend. Go make me some cash. Daddy needs money. <laughs> Daddy has spotted a lot of money. <laughs> oh, that's got to be a lot of money. All right. Yeah. Oh my God. We could get a few hundred from this. That's the hope. So the hope and you also raid fast so there we go 19 days and then we'll swing here we'll swing here and we'll swing up here and we should be able to clear our debt off nice and fast oh concubine is pregnant she's 45 how former spouse this guy he's kind of given up he's he's, he's okay he's fine with the fact that i've stolen his wife um he's just you know kind of forgiven that forgive and forget 
Good on him. He's a very open-minded individual. Johan Anderson is dead. Oh my god. It's, oh, it's one of the Paradox characters. Oh, what is this? Fabricate a hook on Ursula scheme is going. That's fine. Oh, and my that's my Godi dead. Okay, so does my new one like me? Not really, but we can improve that. We can try and improve that. That shouldn't be impossible. Hybrid culture formed. That doesn't really matter. We're getting some attrition as we walk through these lands, but once again, that's fine. We just need to... We're here for money, and that's all. Loads of money. All right, there we go. Good siege there. Good. Oh, Clockwork Orbros, thank you very much for 10 gifted memberships, you generous bugger. And we also hit 6,000 likes. Thank you very much, everyone. That's incredibly generous. Very, very generous. <gasps> we captured a mayor. Ransom, Ransom, you've got 188 gold on you. Oh, you are lovely. You are lovely. Have we got anyone else? Have you got any money? You're a peasant leader. You can negotiate your release. Recruit, employ executioner. That's a good idea. Always important to have an executioner for the increased dread. Very, very effective. And peasant leaders are always good commanders as well. Right, bam. Make some nice money off of you. Oh, good stuff. Right, so now that we have money, we can start declaring war for counties. So... Oh, well, sorry, duchies. So yeah, I think the next target is the Kingdom of Pomerania, um, just for the sweet, sweet, easy cash that comes with it. Oh, we get a free war, well, free combat here. Fight this guy. Does he have money on him? Maybe, he could have some cash. Did we get some cash? No, we just got some prestige and piety. That's okay. But yeah, we're going to um, hopefully uh, pump out this area. We've basically stolen all of their cash, and then as soon as that's done, I think we can steal most of this land, hand it off to one of our kids, make them nice and powerful. There we go, let's disband this army. There we go, we got the money now. So we can go, bam, declare war for duchy. I've got to be illustrious, what? Illustrious, I'm halfway there. Okay, what's better, can I, can I declare war on you now? Yeah, we no longer have a peace treaty, so declare war, conquer county. Let's go for Arika, that's close. Or actually, Hell, Hell Vizier would actually unite our realm a bit. So yeah, let's do that. So there we go, declared war, raise armies. Oh, new councillor needed. Steward, you will do fine, Mr. Prince Bishop. You will do very nicely. And can I get you to convert? I think I can. You look like you might. Right, merge these dudes up together. We're starting to get a decent army together now. Yes, he has. Lovely. He gets a weak hook, but hey, he's now he's now Norse. That's really good. That's really, really good. The more Norse, the more better. Next daughter, Alina. Do we even have a new daughter? Do we have a new daughter? Has a daughter been... Gofinia Spiffies. Well, there we go. You can be Alina, because I don't think I named you. Right, Alina. Welcome. Alina. Oh my god, Clara, I completely missed that. You gifted 50 gift, gifted memberships. That's incredibly generous. If you don't know what gifted membership does, by the way, it gives you access to all of the uh, the hidden members videos that we have. We currently have uh, two literally handmade members videos that are really good. One is a behind the scenes on the Yorkshire Tesla video we did, and the other is a top 10 games, well, sorry, no, top games of last year, top five games. Um, and the video that's being made for this month is a hidden Civ game. It's literally the hidden Civ game. I can guarantee none of you have ever played it. And I've basically spent a month playing it to review it. When this game released on Steam, it averaged three concurrent players. Um, and it is part... It is literally... It's made by Sid. It's, le it's got the Civilization label on it. Three players. That's how, how obscure this game is. It's obscene. So yeah, I... Um, I love it. It's such a weird, weird part of history that I just want to uh, want to keep a keep an aspect of and just show the world. Uh, low control in the county of Brandenburg. Oh, do I control Brandenburg again? I do. Do I want Brandenburg? Eh, it gives me levies. It gives me levies. That's fine. Oh, jeez. You cannot join the war because you're already at war with another participant. Um, okay, I can't. I can't actually help just yet, but I can in a bit. Um, okay, I'll let him know. I can't join. Oh, game crashed. 
Okay, right, pausing. Oh dear. The game is, oh god, the game is actually crashed. Looks like, oh, hosts. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Um, it's fine. Don't worry. Did you get an exit save? We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We've just got a bunch of Catholics to put down. <laughs> oh, it's an MP game. Yeah, I know, Stan. It's, it's great. Uh, I think I can hit play in single player and then I should be able to load it as well, which I can do. Let me quickly do that, just in case. Right, drop, save. Bam, right. I can rehost from the save. There we go. We are doing good in terms of holy sites. We almost have the entire kingdom of Kiev, which is holy site number. Yeah, it's like holy site number. Which one is it? Do, 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 do. Holy site one. So we've got one, two, three. How many do you need to reform? Uh, you literally just need three. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> we'll literally one war until we can reform the entire haste. Um, right. Um, yeah, so we're doing a little rehost. Um, let me quickly switch scenes here. Do, 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 do. And then load into the game but basically um, what we've done is well there's a peasant there's another peasant rebellion there's always a peasant rebellion um, but the peasants are of course Catholic peasants this might seem like a bad opportunity because it destabilizes the realm it's actually good uh, because we get to fight a bunch of peasants uh, that are generally quite suicidal and they're really easy to kill and this is good because it allows us to farm prestige and we need prestige so that we can do holy level kingdom wars basically uh, is the plan we need a lot of that. Um, right, let me host the game. Do, 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 do. Host using this save here. Um, all right, host game. Do, 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 do. This should also actually fix our lag issue as well. Um, Although I suppose it will mess it up for the two fa for the fact that two of our players are Canadians. Um, right, let me get that and set. Um, wait, how do I get the uh, how do I get the multiplayer code? Wait, did I? I think I went too far. I went too far. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, end game. Exit menu. If you leave as a host, the multiplayer game will end and other players no longer play together. Wait, how do I. Inv Can I just directly invite? No, I can't because I don't have these people as friends on Steam. Of course I don't. Of course I don't. Um, exit menu. Menu. You can tell I hardly ever host CK3 multiplayer games, and I wish I did more because they're so fun. Right, uh, both 9th of September. Game info. Private. Where do I get my server ID then? Okay, wait, there we go. Okay, no, Otto and Can, Otto Welshman can do it. There we go, lovely. Much easier, much easier. Makes sense, because then we have two Canadians, so makes sense for one of them to host. I've got decent enough internet. That's all I need. Hello, Randre. Hello. Welcome to the chat. Put in a TTS for streams, like Nurse. I, I really want to get a TTS for streams, uh, for donations and stuff. Ideally, I want them to be, like, different voices. Like, I, I, like, for example, if we were to do this game, if I could get a peasant voice, if that makes sense. If we could have a an actual peasant voice, that would just be... Hilarious, in my opinion. Because, you know, who doesn't want to hear the suffering of the peasants, the lamentation of those plebeys trying to um, 
Imagine that. That shouldn't be too hard to do. Connor, your new job as as head intern. Uh, make it up. Make it. Make it. Do it. S50, do you have any against the storm exploits? Uh, I don't, but I do love the game. It's very fun. Although I haven't actually played it, I've basically just watched other people play it, and I've gained immense amounts of satisfaction from it. Do 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 do. Screaming executions. I mean, to be fair, if you guys were just peasants, you'd just be continuously spamming it to say nonsense, wouldn't you? More would needed, sire. <laughs> Uh, can't you just isolate the sound files from CK3 and use those? That would be very fun because I think you can have it set up so that like you guys, are, like say 20 of you say the same word, it could then play this specific sound file. Um, like you could all spam deaf sound one or something, I don't know. And then it would just like immediately start spamming deaf noises, which are very, very enjoyable. Okay, I think I actually need to rehost my game here. Let me do that. Uh, do, 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 do. Restart my game. Do 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 do. Restart the game. The keep is enclosed. Deaf sound free. <laughs> Deaf sound one dot mp three. God, that's my favorite. I love Deaf sound one dot mp three. I remember CK two literally has a an mp three file called like Deaf Elephant Squish Woman underscore two or something like that. It's just so many absurdist names. Oh, you love you love it. Who doesn't love the good old good old Crusader Kings two? That game had so many deaf sound effects, like just so many wet squishy squishy elephant under feet kind of stompers. Oh, so so satisfying. All right, join via ID. Come on, join the game, game. You can do it, I believe in you. Oh, and the plague lol. Oh yeah, I remember Crusader Kings 2 had the fully mapped out plague mechanic. So you just had giant sweeping plagues ravaging the uh, the entire landscape of the world. I remember there was also a mod which was the horse plague where basically if you caught the plague you just got turned into a horse um that was uh that was yeah that's a ck2 classic in my opinion that's probably the most fun way of playing the game because otherwise the plagues are just like you're dead lol or suddenly your stats suck whereas that was like that was actually dangerous you don't want to be turned into a horse Which character did he start? What country? Uh, I started as the King of Bohemia. Um, and we are currently dealing with Catholic uprisings, is what I would describe. How about 100 stat horse? Oh my god, imagine playing CK2 with a 100 stat horse. <laughs> I mean, you can't even hold, like, a sword. Like, I don't even know how you're killing people at that point. Like, are you just holding, like, an axe in your teeth and just, like, swinging it wildly? And that's just enough. Oh, Kingdom of Bohemia. Oh, I thought I did connect to the game. No, I just got a different splash screen. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Yes. Oh, lovely. Right. And we're bam. King of Kingspiff of Bohemia. Start. There we go. I'm in. Ready. Where are we at? Oh, I... My war is is not on. Okay, we're at moments before the war happened. Cool. I think. Um, let me get the game back up. Don't worry. I know you know see video chat. St don't spam it. Don't you dare spam it. You, you bastards. <laughs> I'm one step ahead of you, okay? Look, the game. It's here. Uh, so we know there's a peasant revolt about to hit, which is fine. But equally, we know... Actually, because of that, I don't think there's a point in me fighting fighting the peasants um oh i'm guessing the peasant revolt just hit out of sync quill oh dear oh dear oh dear oh dear oh no oh dear quill left the game that's fine quill should be able to rejoin we should have no problem no problem it's okay don't put it don't panic no panicking no nobody panic don't you dare 
Don't you dare panic. Can you play MMORPG Tycoon 2? Yes, I love it. But I'm holding out on playing it until uh, they do the update that they're working on, which is like a... Um, uh, it's a... Um, oh, Quill didn't reboot CK3 after the crash. That's why. Um, it's a... Uh, it's like a, an underground dungeons update, which is a really good idea. Really, really, really good idea. Is your bug fixed? Um, no. No, I'm still paying homage to my liege. I think I need him to... I think I need him to abduct me, and then it should count, cancel out um, the, the whole... Um, the whole thing. Does he have a reason to abduct me? Could I, like, just ask for him to abduct me? <gasps> I should have asked to become a march. God, what a stupidly good idea. Please. Please. Please make me marsh. Please. <laughs> please. <laughs> it gives you more levies. It means you get slightly less money, but you don't exactly need money. I, I suppose I could give him a gift, actually. Oh, I don't even have... I, don't I need 150 gold for that. But yeah, uh, there we go. March status. Because that means minus 22... Uh, 20, well, yeah, 20% 20 army gold maintenance plus 20% levy capacity for me, which is just like instantaneously giantly boosting the amount of peasants I can muster onto the field of battle oh that's what I want Clara you did give 50 memberships I wish I had a child I could name but I don't oh my god I completely forget about how disgusting Malapocalypse is <laughs> what a boy what an absolute unit of a boy <laughs> he just is he's lovely he's just a misunderstood little egg okay oh my god Oh, um, also, when the game um, pauses, can you imprison me, wait a month, and then uh, release me? <laughs> I think that's probably the best way. Because um, effectively, what I try to do, and the reason why I'm bugged, is uh, there's an exploit where if you pay homage to your liege, it costs 200 prestige, of course. Um, but then what you do is if you click pay homage, you go to the like the travel destination screen, and if you just back out of it and wait a week, uh, it cancels the homage, and you get everything refunded, which means if you're, of course, using prestige, the prestige gets refunded, which counts towards your progress level of fame. It's basically the fastest way to just level up your fame to maximum very, very fastly. Um, oh, no, you are an ally. You have to be a criminal. Um, I mean, I guess I could try and murder my liege that that seems like a, a stupid idea though um oh well that's fine someone just has to try and stop me i guess god this dude is just imprisoned <laughs> half of like half of like uh the court i imagine are just like well yeah half the vassals of the realm are in prison which, to be fair, we could probably release and just force them to convert as part of the whole release statement. Um, it's probably a good idea. Uh, lol, we'll work on becoming a criminal. Okay, my goal is to uh, become a criminal. <laughs> That's what I gotta do. Oh, dear. I wish I was on my leisure's council as well, but instead we've got Archpriest Wilhelm of Utrecht instead. Goddamn useless fool. Why is his wife on... Is she on stewardship focus? She's got free stewardship. She's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Oh, oh, Corgi activated. Corgi activated. My goodness. Financial crimes don't count. That's true. That's true. Right, I guess we're probably ready to rumble. Because um, Quill is in. Georgie. Georgie, you big grumpy sausage. Right, how are we doing in terms of chivalry focus? So we are 13 months away from a new martial focus. What we're probably going to want to pick up is hit and run uh, because of the obscene boost to archer damage as well as also skirmisher. Um, but I think we only have archers really. Yeah, we've got quite a few bowmen. And they're good. They're upgraded. We've got like plus 11 here. In fact, we should probably invest more into that. Yeah, a little bit of extra cash investment. Why not? Get some extra gubbins in there. Um, I guess we're probably ready to unpause now that Quill's in, right? Surely. Oh, new son! New son, right. Freya. Oh, sorry, Clara. Thank you, 
Thank you very much for your generous gifts. You are my son. Um, you are completely fine. You're just average and normal. Default child can learn the art of stewardship. Make money, my sweet boy. All right, now I just have to wait for the Catholic rebellion to occur. Come on, accept, accept the march status. Accept it. Oh, has he already? I, I guess I, there's no way for me to tell. Um, come on, come on. Did he get it? Yeah, I did. I, it says I get it, but it did also keep it hovering up. But there you go. It's a CK free. You never know how the UI is actually working. Um, do I want to get up to the next level of diplomatic court? I mean, I don't really want to be a diplomatic court. That's one of the issues. But let's get up to a decent fashion, which gets me over the edge to five. Stylish fashion. Oh, yes. Fancy. Fancy, fancy, fancy. Okay. Uh, I guess I we should get the Catholic revolt in a few months' time. Because, yeah, I declared a war not too long ago. That was the idea. Have I been freed up? No, I'm still cursed. Still cursed. Can't go to any activity. There's all these activities happening in the world. People are going on hunts. People are going on adventures. They're hosting grand tournaments. I am currently sat in my castle pondering how I'm going to walk to my leisure's capital. Which, of course, is never going to occur. <laughs> I'm not even in my royal court. Look, I've left... I'm not even in my chair. It's just my wife is looking after it all. Oh, my God. What a... What a shambolic mess. What a shambolic mess. But hey, at least I'm in uh, the Master of Horse for my liege, at least. That's nice. That's a good sign. Oh, what is up? My daughter has cancer. Well, I'll try and fix that. Oh, yes, I'm able to help out. Um, we will not stand your vile oppression of Catholics any longer. Um, then you, I shall meet you in battle, traitor. There we go. Yay, I've helped out. We're going to help out in the Catholic uprising. Good Lord, Georgie is grumpy again. It's fine, don't worry, the Corgi Crusaders are afoot. Georgie, we've got this, okay? Right, you're reckless, that's not very good. We've got somebody who's fast. Uh, you're actually pretty decent, decent advantage, but this Reaver is just so good. So, so good. Have we got anyone who's able to actually be a uh, an accolade now? Yes, we are. Marauder and Contender, create. And then we also have... Valiant stalwart, create. There we go. Where are you fleeing to, you peasants? Come and fight me, you fools. Why don't they ever want to fight me? I know they're just going to get evaporated, but come on, guys. I need the prestige as much as you do. Want to die, surely. Uh, your plus 15 travel speed, which I think actually does make everything fast. This guy's pretty good, actually. Um... Yeah, we should be able to win this fight. More soldiers defending in forest, defensive buildings. Yeah, just because they have a better army commander, they think they'll win. But they will not. Chris Campbell leaves the stream for 10 minutes. Already barren. And then goes for 10 minutes, comes back. Cancer. I'm sorry. Look, your fertility is down to minus 70%. <laughs> it's not likely you're going to have a child. Actually, do you have a child? You don't. Okay. Well, I suppose you are 13, so that's uh, kind of impossible. Anyway, here we go. We get a fight. A bit of prestige. Come on. And we've got my lovely little horses. My lovely little horses and my archers. Look at that. Fighting in favourable terrain. 30 damage they're doing. 30. That's good. That's the kind of stuff you want to see from your archers. And of course, yeah, we've got our troops raised, which means we make 13 gold per month because that's how it works for some reason. Would I capture someone? I captured... A nobleman of the populist uprising. Oh, you are a good commander. Negotiate release, recruit, demand conversion. You won't accept it. But I will recruit you and you will make a fine little knight. Join my ranks, boy. Join it. I know you want to. You're so good. And one day I will be able to convert you, hopefully. But you will make a fine knight until that day. Right, there we go. You're being attacked. What's going on in the Kingdom of Poland? Okay, not much. There we go. That's another Catholic uprising pushed down. I guess I need to go south and deal with this one. Are we getting... Yeah, we are getting illustrious from this. Oh, new lifestyle perk. Hit and run for increased uh, damage. And then we probably want sappers because that is going to allow us to siege faster. And sieging is good. K 
Okay, come on, Catholics. You lo uh, Wait, these aren't even Catholics. They're just populists. What do they even want? Oh, I could gain the Garlic King as a, as a title. I hope I don't. No, I didn't. I just gained some stress. Oh, balanced? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. You haven't got a better commander than me. Look at that. Our commander is, is decent. He's good. He's not as good as me, but apparently I'm not allowed to do anything. There we go. That's another good win. That's some prestige and piety. Um, oh, call to war. Who am I fighting? This dude over here. And this dude. Sure, I will help you fight in the steep regions of Kamania. Definitely. I'll be over there in no time. <laughs> he says, not going over there. When does this populist rising get put down? Are they just... Oh, they're up here. All right, let me go chase down that horde. Uh, can I raise any more archers? We can get some additional calberos. Or these guys, actually. They could be boosted. Um, where are they stationed? You guys are stationed in Olmeric. Okay, here we go. So... You need something to boost your damage. Basic militia camps, that'll do. That'll do. And then I don't feel too bad about spending some more cash up uh, hiring you guys. And over here we go. Got a nice little fight to do. Shouldn't be a problem. Oh, and we have swayed my lovely little guy. Brilliant. Brilliant stuff. Let's, uh, what can we do? Can we sway my chancellor? That's probably a good idea. Sway. Make him like me. And phew, it says even. This isn't even. Come on. Let's switch to you. You'll be fine. You've got this. So many one. Oh my god. Actually, fuck. 8,000 populists. 8,000. We've got to win this really decisively. <laughs> We've got to win this so fast. <laughs> oh my god. My leper boy. No, my leper boy. Sweet, sweet leper boy. Um, well, the good news is we're going to have to retreat from this one. Uh, that's okay. We get some damage done before we go, at least. A whole bunch of damage. Oh, 17th of September. Game paused. Is that a crash? Is that a crash? I think this could be a crash. In the very least, the game is no longer moving. Which is not a good sign. <laughs> yep, there we go. Okay, it was a crash. Oh, what just happened there? I've not seen that happen. Oh, okay, it just booted me out to the menu. Right, onto the waiting screen we go. <laughs> the wait continues. Oh, game, please, please, game. Right as I was doing my glorious war. Is this even worth finishing? Uh... We might be buggered here. We might be. Who knows? If we are, I will just uh, do a world conquest myself, solo. How stable is multiplayer? Normally it's not too bad, actually. It's usually kind of okay. Kind of okay. Uh, call, convene, and discuss. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. We. Hello, hello, hello. Hey! Hello! Uh, it, it does indeed seem that CK3 is uh, not wanting to play ball today, um, which is fine. It's how it is. It, uh, tours and tournaments were so transformative. It's possible that there's some, you know, there'll be a hot fix in a few days that fixes yeah. things. They may have just introduced too many things that allowed desyncs and crashes. I mean, consider, yeah, it's kind of incredible how stable it is, considering the fact that my king has been um, technically traveling to. Uh, Welshman's court for the last 20 years. Um, yeah, it's really weird. Yeah. He's yeah. almost there, too. Yeah, it's just one more week. <laughs> That's all he needs. He's just trying to make up his mind on what pubs to stop off at. It's very, very important. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think potentially it's best we, uh, we we call it a day here today together. I'm going to try and give us a crack on uh, single player, basically. Oh, Oxman, please don't die. <laughs> please. Oh, God. Oh, sorry. That's still coming. Oh. Oh my god, one sec. My poor man. Uh. Such a shame Ottoman died uh, today. Um, there's nothing <laughs> we can do to save him. 
What a shame. What a shame. I was so pissed. My well, character got running best a friends or... with, um, with Feedback Gaming, and yeah. he died at like 24 and generated like 80 points of stress for my character. Oh my like, god. Oh, no. Bastard. <laughs> yeah, never have friends. It's so stressful when they die. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, I thought one of you was about to run a scheme on me there. I literally just, uh, I literally just choked to death almost. <laughs> <laughs> he ate uh, some bad no berries. Comment. No comment. Yeah, it must have been something I ate, I guess. No, too. Right. Yeah, well, I think um, this is uh, this is probably it for today, guys. But it was a pleasure. Um, yeah. It was a cool setup and a great idea. There turned out to be a lot more internal conflict than. Uh, Anticipated. Well, with yeah, cultural and religious mismatch. Spicy peasants. Spicy, yes. spicy peasants. Exactly. Well, I just want to say thank you to you both. I've been watching you both for so long, and uh, it was a, it was an honor to be streaming with you guys, uh, really and truly. So thank you very much for that. Oh, thank you very much, Welshman, and thank you, Quill, for hanging out, and Dave for dying. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, lovely hanging out with you guys, and I'll see you around hopefully. All right, excellent. See you guys. Bye -bye. Have a good day, guys. Bye. Right, okay, now that they're gone, guys, it's time for the real shit. Let's go. Oh. Okay, for far too long, my friends. A world conquest has never truly been attempted by those gloriously looking for the ultimate, ultimate prize. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to attempt to Genghis Khan the bloody world. And I think doing so is a splendid idea. Uh, we'll, we should probably start as the... Uh, King of Khazria. Uh, let me load up a custom ruler here. I think Mongol speed is generally what I've determined is the best. The best potential ruler here. We don't really want Holy Warrior. That wouldn't give us a perk that we really need. What could we go for here instead? Reaver? No. Siege, maybe? Siege? Military Engineer Siege Timer could be good. Or even Open Terrain could be nice. Or Traveler. Or maybe just someone who's faster. Like, Forder is good. Uh, no, let's go for Military Engineer. Let's do it. Actually, do we want Adventure instead? Yeah, fuck it. Adventurer. Adventurer. Get Adventurer in. Right, I just need the perk that's negative. Um, lazy. That's minus 10. Actually, it does lower a lot of our stats in quite a negative way. Is there a negative perk here I could pick up? Flagellant. Eh. Comfort Eater. I mean, flagellant isn't too bad. Uh, melancholic isn't good. Definitely not good. Leprous terrible. Disfigured? No. Infirm? No, 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 no. Scarred? That's actually a positive. I could just be ugly. Or hideous. Hideous could work. Um, should I go delicate? Actually, let's lower the prowess a bit. Actually, no, it's easier to... Let's go delicate for the lowered prowess. Let's go... Not spindly. Oh, spindly. Yeah, let's go spindly. Okay, spindly and delicate. Two minor health penalties. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? Um, this will be our character. Let's save him. Oh, test, speed, war. Okay, I'm going to need a name for our lovely king here once we get in the game. But this, I think, should be our, our lad. We'll just call him lad temporarily. Finalize. Oh, okay start let me load this music ever so slightly here we go chat here we go so i can even get my speed running timer set up for this actually let me do that what is it it is uh live split live split there we go that's the name of it live split got to load it up from winra um as one does yes live split please run uh what's that pop-up error Live split crash shooter to object, object reference not set to an instance of an object. What the heck, live split? Let me extract you. Let me extract you. Extract to uh, downloads, new folder. There we go. Live split, go. Come on, live split. I've got to have you set up, otherwise, it's not a proper speed run. That's how it works. Right. Now search for live split in my documents. Now run live split. Yes, you're allowed to run. 
Yes, you function. You function. Look at you. Yes, wonderful. Look at this. This is premium quality now. Now you can tell I'm running a a premium premium stream setup. Right, what do I want? I want a wife who is a good steward, ideally, or potentially this this woman's actually good at everything. Yeah, she'll do fine. She'll do very good. Uh, martial focus, strategy focus. We want stalwart leader, so we don't die when we fight. And I guess we're pretty much ready to begin, really. Although, there is one thing I want to do first. So, do my men at arms cost gold or prestige? Prestige, okay. Um, that's fine. That's fine. Do I have any provinces that have nothing in them? Yes, I do. Right, you need to be building gathering halls. Let me just quickly cheese this. Because I need you built in less than uh, five years. Right, there we go. And let's take a look at our men at arms. We've got horse archers galore. Good. Horse archers are obscenely good. You get stationed there. You need to get stationed here. Oh my god, we've got so many horse archers. So the main reason we want to do this is because we can become the greatest of Khans. We need a larger realm size and to become exalted among men. But that shouldn't take too long, really. And in fact, one way we could do it is just immediately invade the... Um, subjugate this dude. Okay, I've got to be at least distinguished. I guess we should probably do a hunt then. Or something like that. Something to make my people happy. Let me hold court. What a splendid idea. Free free labor? Um, gain some court grandeur? That seems like a good idea. Oh, we get court artifacts. All right, let's pop those up. Just basic stuff. Bit of prestige, bit of piety. Throne room. Um, let's gain some court grandeur and lose some money and potentially gain an artifact for some prestige. That's a good idea. And we could gain a claim. Okay, no, we're not going to do that. Sweet. All right. Opening moves complete. I think we're ready to start. Is CK free starter friendly? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Right. Let us begin with the war. I did not start my, my speed split settings. Look, you are a global hotkey. I need you to go. Okay, so when I go... Bam. Go. There we go. It's going. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Oh, so good. So good. This man expects a spot on the council. He's shit. Fuck off from the council. You are garbage. You are scum. Right, you're good. Fire. Bam. Do that. You're fine. You're not very good. You're a lot better. You will do lovely. Yeah, you're brilliant, actually. Spy master. Ah, doesn't matter if you guys hate me. Uh, I do need to be endorsed by you, though, so I can just make you a concubine. And that should rectify that issue. And let's pop this on. Long live the Khan. That is me. Uh, right, let's get some quick wars done, I guess. Um, Conquer County. What have you got? You've got one county here. You've got no money. Pff, easy. Raise army. Uh, do I even need more than that? No, I don't. 2,500 men is all I need to win this war. You've got, what, 1,400? Uh, one thing I do want to probably increase the size of is my catapults. Um, they do cost prestige to maintain, but that's okay. There we go, war declared. Call my ally, don't need to do that. You are meaningless. Not employing a court physician. I'll get my wife to do it, that'll be fine. And I am personally leading these men, there we go. All right, we probably wanna play on speed five, ideally, because we need to um, we need to conquer as much land as possible. Need your managed domain. And that means I have one holding I need to get rid of. So I will grant this to a noble of my culture and my faith. There we go, this woman. Perfect. She is ill, so she'll probably die and immediately give it back. But that's okay. Right, I need to w actually fight you because fighting gives prestige. Valuable hostage captured. I captured someone's son. Nice. Can I ransom you? Only for a weak hook. That's meaningless. I need money. And there we go. I actually captured even more people. There we go. Enforce demands. That's an easy war. Disband all. That's a bit more land for us. Let me quickly... Pass it off to another dude of my culture. What have we got? All goose here. Don't need that. What about you? You're like two counties. You are also two counties. So declare war. Declare war for 
title. Raise up my men. Don't need all of you. I don't need all of them. But actually, I just don't need this army at all. Realistically, I just need this one. So have me lead this. Raise the dudes up. Go fight. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We're just going to do a lot of fighting, basically. Oh, someone will reveal a secret to me. Um, you know what? I'm okay. I don't need a secret. I don't need secrets. I am being raided, apparently. That's fine. I've got a daughter. She is also spindly. Spindle woman. Snaggle, snaggle, snaggle puss. You will be, you'll be our, our lovely new daughter. Uh, Zach wants a child named Teabagged, I do believe. Okay, you can have a... Actually, not child. You can have the king, actually. I think it's good if we have our king called Teabagged. Teabagged. A much better name. Let's get another wife as well, because I need more kids. Right, there we go. Quick fight. Good. And do a quick siege. Oh. Improved defense and defense. Lovely. That's what you like to see. Quick siege. Quick siege. And we captured him, so we will do a quick ransom for cash. And pause. He's ransomed. And force demands done. Disband. Disband that. And then we also don't need this land, so grant it to someone. I could grant it to this vassal and they'll like me. Why not? Plus 40 opinions. Quite good. Um, what are you? You're probably trying to raid me. So I will subjugate... Well declare war on you actually you know what? we just need to stop declaring stop raising all of my men basically we actually just disband all and just raise men at arms I think that's all we should do because we can win wars with just our men at arms because we've got quite a few of them and we've also got this perk um Well, adjust them and then we need organized march for the increased speed. But effectively we're playing with horse archers because horse archers are absurdly overpowered. Oh, my court grandeur is decreased. Let me fix that. Uh, what even court are we? We're tribal court. Increased knight effectiveness? Yeah, we can boost that. Oh, we can't even boost it. Fine, let's get an antiquarian and try and fix this. Decision commission artifact. I need a weapon. Something to make me nice and intimidating. I can transfer a vassal? Yeah, let's do that. Don't need all of my vassals. Oh, and I need to station men at arms regiments. What do I you? Okay, I need probably some kind of mine for you. Why are chat spamming tea? What is wrong with you, chat? What what messages are you trying to send me? It's if we passed 6k likes already. Yeah, yeah, we did. We did. I know. I know we did. Right, come on, up into this land we go. Increase the speed of the game. We're being raided. I don't... Who cares if we're being raided? I can't control all of my lands, okay? How am I meant to keep track of them all? Right, here we go. Come on. In we go. After this, we can probably do some kind of, like hunt to get some more prestige going so you need we need as many like prestige generating traits as possible oh war banner nice i'll take that i will take that nicely let's go hang that up oh my god we've got some nice like a uh, bit of bit of funk going on now jeez i was expecting like epic music but where is my where's my epic action here we go yes much better Right, unpause. Got my nice siege going on here. We can assault the fort. Um, ooh, get some renown for the dynasty. Nice. Is there a point in us assaulting this fort? Yeah, get some days off of it, I guess. Uh, that should be fine. There we go. Don't want to assault for too much. Real inspiration comes from within. Yes, let's do that. I'm not having anyone break up my armory. Uh, have I got stuff I can do to increase... Horse herds, yes. Oh, I captured a kid. Nice. Sweet. Well, that's an easy war. Force demands. So be it. Expand the men. And a grant to a bleeder. Well, they're not going to last long. Have I got any vassals that don't hate me immediately? You'll do fine, actually. Some random dude. I can ransom the kid as well. Uh, right, let's station some men at arms. We've got 
or these light horsemen. You need a place. You can have this place. Catapults. Uh, there's literally nowhere I can station you that is good. What about you? Yeah, okay, that's fine. I can have some accolades. Horse archer. Jeez, what does this do? Plus, oh my god. That's obscene if we could get max that out. Um... Right, you... Okay, I actually don't even have enough prestige for the rest of this. Jeez, you are nice, though. You are very, very nice. Okay, um... I need money. Actually, I just need to go on a hunt, and that should give me prestige, which is what I need in order to actually maintain my kingdom. Right, let's go for... Right, let's go for this place. It's fine. It's fine. Um, start a hunt. Oh, we got a person in court. I want to do a book. Write a book about warfare. Why not? Go for it. And then I guess I could probably also make them a concubine. Bam. There you go. That solves two birds, one stone. Additional concubine secured. And we've got a new daughter. Lovely. Alright, what do I want? I would like to slay the beast. I would like as much prestige as possible. Please. Chat, why are you spamming tea? Look, I have tea. Okay, let me give it to you. Are you happy? Are you happy now? All right, do you want to be master of the hunt? Yeah, you've got a good trait for it. Come on in. Actually, give me some prestige. Actually, there are a few perks that just give prestige, right? Or at least um, boost prestige. There we go. Personal champion. Yes, you give me plus two prestige a month. Or plus 0.2. Have I built the uh, tribal holding it? Yes, I have. Oh, what do we got? Let's go for... Strategy and troop composition. Um, and then I could do with more... I really could do with more prestige. So I'm just going to... Um, I actually don't even have enough money for it. That's a shame. How's my hunt going? Oh, I got a battle axe. Nice. Extra, pres uh, well, extra prowess is always nice. I wish my... Um, how's my counter doing? You are a terrible, terrible person to have. More renowned, yes, please. Yes, please, that would be lovely. Okay, what do I want? Prestige medium, uh, prestige prestige higher here, which is a good idea. Let's go for a, a relatively good one. Success chance decreased, but increased learning. Slightly increase of hunter experience. Yeah, let's go for that. Uh, some prestige and hunter experience is a good idea. Christine Newbold, thank you very much for 10 gifted channel memberships, my friend. Um, let's try and get some prestige here. Oh, it works. That's really good. That is really good. And let's go for cornering it, which is more perilous, but more prestige. Okay, uh, I've got some kids that need to be named, don't I? Uh, actually, sorry, nope. Snagglepuss is done. Uh, let me quickly name this child. My child, you are renamed Fusion Warrior. Fusion Warrior donated to say... Uh, two big cups of uh, Yorkshire decaf tea with a tablespoon of maple syrup each. That is an obscenely lovely, obscenely lovely concept of tea and maple syrup, which is something that I haven't experimented, but it sounds good. All right, I could try and fight it, but there's a chance I'd die, so I would, instead I will shoot it. That's how you do it. Nice, I slayed the beast, which also means I get a wolf skull to mount and a bunch of prestige. That was really actually very effective. Very, very good indeed. Successful hunt. And I can now pin that wolf skull up. Okay, right, let's get a war done. We got a single, is this single county? Yep, yeah, single county lord down here. So we can just knock him out of the game entirely. Um, raise men at arms. Alright, we got my men at arms raised. Lead them myself. Charge them down. Let's go. Wait, why am I a cautious leader? I thought I made myself a, a siege boy. Ah, oh, well. Who knows? Who knows? That's fine. I don't ask questions. I just uh, I just do my best. Right, I can actually have um, a new... A new... Um, new accolade. So let's recruit one. And then recruit you. There we go. Bam. Alright, three knights now. I just need to reach Illustrious as fast as possible. Oh, actually, can I also get my, um... Can I get gathering halls up now? Yes, I can, right. Build, cancel. Build, cancel. Build, 
Cancel. Build. Cancel. Build. There we go. Get that spamming away. Oh. Is there a rough time goal? I want to get this done within one lifetime, ideally. Uh, which basically means at the moment we're just having to farm prestige, uh, which we can do by winning fights. So, for example, we win this fight, we get some prestige, uh, we enforce demands, we get some fame as well. So be it, expand. That's two more counties we get, which we can grant to people who have similar mindsets of us, basically. Um, even though you do appear to hate me because you're a peasant leader. Oh, my daughter is curious. She's full of questions. Lovely. Very good. My spindly child. My spindly, spindly child. I could... He, she could become friends with someone. Right, let's... Um, you are pretty good. You've got quite a lot of intrigue for a child. Yeah, let's go for Batir. Would probably be a good influence. He's cunning and vengeful. Um, how about you? Can I do War for Duchy yet? Nope, I still need Illustrious. Pulling close, we're not quite there. Lifestyle perk. We can get Organized March. Do I get Prestige for Raiding, if I remember correctly? Raiding conversions is like one-to-one. -one. At least it should be. Which I think could mean... Um, I mean, the issue is I can't raid overseas, can I? I'm not like a Viking. So I could realistically only raid, like, these lands. I mean, we can give it a go. We can give it a go. Right, let's uh, raise all as raiders. I mean, there's a good chance we could even swing into... Um... Oh, someone wants uh, just to press a claim. We can't do that. There's no point in that. Um, yeah, we should be able to maybe even take out the Byzantines. Because they've only got, like... Haven't got that many men. Oh, that's a really good... Kagan tea bags about warfare. Oh, plus 10% lifestyle experience is very good. Whap that in. Alright, in you go. Get raiding. Just, oh my god, just speed pillage. Speed pillage our way. Can I get a speed, uh, strong hook? You're a wandering good commander. You're actually pretty decent. You'd make a fine, fine knight. There we go. Look at the pillaging go. Doesn't matter if you have 1,000 troops. I have 5,000 and they are fast. Oh boy, they are fast. And we're capturing boys. You are you are ransomable. In, in the very least, you are executable. Right, there we go. Continue the pillaging. Continue the pillage. Along we go. All of the lands must burn. Oh, new daughter. Right, daughter, congratulations. Chris Campbell is back. Welcome. Hopefully you will not gain... You will not surprisingly gain cancer all of a sudden. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, is it worth going into these lands? I mean, they've got a bit of gold in them, but not that much. How many men they got? 1,200. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Right, we'll, we, can do, we can do a little bit of a tipple. Let's just do a drive-by pillage. Just drive by pillage. Oh, yes, money and prestige. Bam. And we gain some development. I mean, how many years are we into the game? Five years. Five years, and we've already done quite well, I would say. Quite well indeed. Right along here we go. Pillagey, pillagey, pillage. Oh, dynasty legacy. Um, do we want warfare? Or dread? Glory can also be good. Uh, I think we go for House Warriors just for the increased knight effectiveness because that's going to make our combat skills way more effective. What are we up to? 16 minutes in. Good stuff. Alright, we can also go through these lands. More people being picked up and pillaged. Okay, all of these lands actually suck. Court Grand Jewel level is decreased. Oh, that's not good. Can we sponsor someone? A brooch. Fine, we'll sponsor a brooch. We just need to get to Illustrious fast, and then we can start truly annexing the world. It just kind of becomes a snowball after a while, because what we're aiming for is to become the greatest of Khans. As soon as we have that, we can do endless kingdom like title wars. Oh. Right, we're actually running out of supply now, so I will just pillage this one, this one, and then yeah, swing our way back up because none of these are really worth much money. 
But there we go, this is good. This is like 300 gold we've just yoinked, which I think is converted into prestige as well. Uh, please be, come on. Yep, 316 prestige. Nice. Good stuff. Alright, I can hold court again. Now let's do it. What's the worst that could happen? Off with her head. Jeez. I can do this without being a tyrant and gain some dread. Why not? Um, some random stuff. Don't need to worry about that. I can gain the common touch. Don't really need that. Dispute settled. That can be good. Sure, let's go for it. I'm sending my steward to fix it. And how is my court grandeur doing? Still not very good. Not good at all. But there's not much we can do to fix that short of commissioning artifacts. Um, right. I guess I could do another hunt, could I? It's probably a good idea. Um, wetlands, no holdings. Antelope sighting. Go for it. Let's hire cultural ambassadors. Always hire a cultural ambassador. They are absurdly good. And let's start a hunt. Also, can we upgrade our holdings at all? We do not have the barracks innovation. Well, at the very least, I can upgrade this. Let me quickly upgrade my tribal capital. Wait, I completely forgot I can just do this. There we go. This is so much faster. Uh, the reason you want to upgrade it is because it just buffs the hell out of your men-at-arms, which are stationed here, which for us are horse archers, which are already absurdly good. Although we probably want to convert this into something like a uh, horse herd. Oh, a new son, Ling. You will not be Ning. You will be Malopocalypse. Malo Malocapocalypse will return. Our weird leper child. If you become a leper again, I would just be so confused. <laughs> the odds of that are impossible. Oh, we can do a martial challenge. Yep, it worked well. Good stuff. And we get a new perk. Um, chivalric dominance. And then we want household guard for the increased knights. There we go. Unknown plant rash. Uh, we do not want that. We do not want plant rash. Plant rash, very bad. Very, very bad. Come on. Get up to illustrious. Prisoners can be ransomed. Nice, let's do that. Get some money. Get loads of money. Oh, loads of good money. Oh, we got a good brooch. That is actually a good brooch. Wrap that on. Increase prestige. Prestige is troops. That is always very nice. Have I maxed out on concubines? Yes, I have. This one's a bit old, though, so maybe she could do with getting replaced. Right, we want to go for this antelope. Uh, slightly increased hunter experience. Yep, go for it. Increased prestige as well. After it, we ride. More perilous, but increased success chance. So close, I almost have you. Come on, this is looking good. We can catch a wild... Yep, let's shoot it. We did it. That's how you do it. More hunter experience. And lush pelt. Mighty antelope hide we'd get. Oh, that's a good one. That's a real good one. What a great fight. What a well, What a great hunt. Let's uh, pop that bad boy up in our court. Where can we even hang it? Actually, I suppose I have to... Oh, wait, no, it's a hide, isn't it? Um, mighty antelope hide. Pop you there. You are a good one. Right, back home we go. Oh, a snowbound. Okay, someone's apparently going to help us for some money. That's a good idea. Um, right, we want to change out our trading outpost to something that's a bit better, like wild horse herds in a moment. Uh, but actually, we could do some wars. So, county wars. What can I do in terms of counties? We've got these guys down here, I guess. Uh, no one would really mind if I conquered a county of yours, so let's just do it. Oh my god, you're ready my lands. Sweet. Right, that's going to make fighting you a bit easier. Right, the men are up. Chase them down. <laughs> you cannot flee. I am so much faster than you. I will just beeline across the entire world and cut you down. Oh, and you've immediately been captured, so that's the end of the war. That was fast. Disband all men. Immediately grant this province to someone else, some local dude. Um, how are we doing in terms of becoming Great Khan? We need about four, 33 more holdings. Duchy Wars will speed that up quite a bit more, but yes, it's going to take a while. I can subjugate. Only allowed one subjugation war per lifetime. 
It can't be on you. It has to be on, what, like a kingdom? Subjugate. Yeah, let's do it. This would increase our... Oh, we take a fame penalty. Why? Because we don't have enough prestige. Yeah, we don't. Oh. Gotta wait for some more prestige. Okay, fine. We'll do some more raiding. More raiding. Where can we even raid? We've kind of pillaged this area. I mean, I guess we could go, like, deep into the Abbasids. But they actually might try and fight back, which we wouldn't really need. Don't need that. Oh, Raider. Okay. That's really good. That's so good. Oh, that is good. Okay, let's just go for some of these um, terrible lands, I guess. Um, one of our chieftain's claims? Sure, why not? Chieftain wants the Chieftain McCollisk declare war. Let us move our men-at-arms over here. Raise all here. Good stuff. Good stuff. In fact, I think we actually make more money when we have our men raised because of how um, how I stacked the, uh, the traits. Right, easy fight this should be. And it should make our vassal happy. And Oh, there's a stack of 2,000 men. I want you. I really want you. I want you dead. Oh, I want you so dead. Oh, you are going to be worth a lot of fame. You're going to be worth so much fame. Thank you. You just got stack wiped. And you've even been captured. Oh, yes. You can be ransomed off for money. Raid Cumber. We need to pillage that bad boy. That needs to just get burnt into the ground. Oh, and finally, we're illustrious. We can do um, we can do the wars we want. Oh, we can do the wars we want. Oh, this is good. This is very good. Right. God, my outfit is looking a little big. I won't lie. I kind of look kind of bulky. Right. Enforce demands. Disband all. That's vassals made happy. My lands expanded. Um, right. Do I have... Bellis Justin, yes I do. So if I were to declare a duchy war, it's not that bad. It's literally not that bad. Okay, this is it. This is uh, we're kind of in the end game now. Declare war for the duchy of the Molkier Confederation. Raise all. Raise all men. Bring in the dudes. Bring in those dudes. Those lovely, lovely dudes. All right, bam. Oh, your 2,000 men think they can win. Little do you know that I am here and I have horse archers. Although I think you have horse archers as well, but uh, mine are superior. Um, yeah, yours are 76 damage. Mine are 111. Good lord. That's good. That is good. Uh, let's get engineered for destruction. Increase siege speed is what we want. And let's get sieging. Oh, we've got 2,000 men over here just chilling. Why aren't you over here helping out, you melons? You're meant to be assisting in this war, potatoes. Jeez. Um, unstationed? Look, you're never going to get stationed, guys. You're just meaningless. Someone died in my... Pr uh, prisoners died. Okay, let me ransom some off of you for money. Let's uh, send some of you out. Don't actually know if I'd be able to win this fight with this guy. No, it's balance. It's not worth it. We'll do our sieges instead and send down this army. Should be an easy win. Oh, here we go. Encourage improvements. Yeah, why not? Spend some prestige. Oh, oh my goodness. Court grandeur has decreased even more. We've got another boy, Duba. He is a spindly bastard. <laughs> Little spindly bastard. Oh, my goodness. We will give this to, um, to Draxem. Thank you, Draxem, for becoming a channel member. Oh, my good friend. Here we go. Come on in. Also, seriously, thank you, Chris Campbell, for Campbell, for donating so many gift memberships. It's uh, such a lovely thing to do, to share the love around. All right, let's go up to their capital. Who cares if we take some casualties? They're meaningless. Um, oh, it's Kirsten. Aha, something topical is happening here. <laughs> oh, those dastardly Russians. You silly, silly fools. Silly, silly fools. Right, um, we need more gathering halls, but I need more prestige for that. Right, do, 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 do. Oh, we are gaining a lot of prestige, actually. I think we actually... Do we gain pres more prestige from raising up my men? Oh, my, my player and son is bossy. Good. Malapocalypse, that's a good sign. Good sign. 
Okay. Bam. That's the war. Job done. Enforce demands. We get some fame. And most importantly, we get a bunch of land. Lovely. Can I grant this to, like, my child? Dynasty. My dynasty. Yep. All right. Give it to one of my sons. Bam. There we go. Draxem, congrats. You are now having to look after these lands as a toddler, effectively. But it's okay. I can negotiate an alliance with you. Okay, right. So that is one war done. I could do a subjugation for... No, I can't do a subjugation for Bulgaria. That would have been good, though. Kiev could be a subjugation war. There would be a decent amount of land. So would uh, Orgu's over here. Nah, okay. Could I subjugate the Byzantines? No, I can't. I can't subjugate the Byzantines. Can I subjugate you? High Duchy of... Uh, High Chieftain of Moldavia. But I wish I could subjugate the Byzantines. Oh, call to war. Against who? Some dude over here. Who's calling me in? Another dude who should be able to win. Ah, that's fine. I don't need to help out. Um... All right, you do have a duchy title, so you could be attacked. You have a duchy title, so you can be attacked. Let me go for you. Um, Smolensk is fine. Oh, I don't even have enough prestige. Uh, another hunt. More hunts. Just endless hunts. That's what we'll do. <laughs> uh, what do we got? We got a boar sighting. Yeah, let's go for a boar sighting. And let's uh, increase the party size so we get even more prestige. Start the hunt. Make the goal to slay the beast. Bam, away we go. Literally, we are just we just have to farm out prestige over and over again. Oh, I can fight this guy and gain some prestige. Nice. I'll do that. That means they also joined our court. A powerful woman. I'm starting a petition to bring back the weekly domestic. Honestly, I, I we both, Ash and I would, well, Mango and I would like to. It's just a, a case of we're both absurdly busy. Oh, someone wants to be master of the hunt. Yeah, sure, why not? You should always have one. You should always have one. Uh, do I actually have someone in my dungeon so I could make a... I could turn into, like, a an executioner? You could do... You're only 29. Negotiate, release, recruit, employ, executioner. Done. There we go. Right, let the uh, slaying commence. Oh, realm size is getting big. That's the plan. Just got to get it up a bit more. One good subjugation war and we should be able to do it as well. Um, oh, dangerous faction. What do we got? Independence faction. Oh, those fools. Those fools. They don't know what's about to hit them. Right, bam. Increase my hunting experience. Oh, I could gain tasted the belt. Um, not a good idea. Could gain mediator, I think, is probably a better idea. Increased diplomacy is always good. All right, let's hunt it down. Marshall perk. Um, do I want hit and run or serve the crown? Because dread could be really good, considering we're about to have a bunch of angry fuckers try and rise up against me. God, I wish I had just more core prestige. That would be so good. I mean, I can boost court grandeur with a food taster, but they could try and kill me. Master of horse. Yeah, let's go for it. You'll do. Um, cup bearer. Once again, they can try and kill me. Uh, but they are host powerful agent and hostile schemes. Court artificer. You could... Yeah, you'd boost it by one. Um, court poet. We don't have any of those. Seneschal could be useful for the increased control growth. Court Jester. Why not? Why not? You'll do it. You'll be great. You'll be brilliant. That increases Court Grandeur a bit. Okay. Um, a 14% chance I die. No. Unleash the Hounds. Yeah, we have to go for... Oh, It is only a 14% chance. 28% chance I get seriously injured. Uh, do we go with the Risk? I think I have to cheese it. I have to cheese it. This is a speedrun. Who cares? Who cares? It's a speedrun. It's part of it. Okay, we did it. We slayed the beast. 
but I am wounded. Severely injured. Fuck. Oh, that's bad. That is bad. That is so bad. Oh, balls, that is bad. Search for a physician. Uh, we did get a black boar skull, which is really good. But, um... Yeah, you don't want to be, um... You don't want to be dying. Let's just put it that way. Oh, God. I desperately need a, um... Right, let's fix up these vassal situations. Um, there we go. And then you need to be working on internal relationships. Let's actually recruit you because then you won't be so upset. Um, and I've got a steward who's better that wouldn't be angry. You really want to be on the council. Let's go. You're on. Okay. Um... Yeah, hopefully we get a court physician, otherwise... Fuck, <laughs> this is gonna be bad. Right, who's good? It's Fantic? Uh, we got a Mystic. That's not a good idea. Let's get an actual good trained physician. Um, please fix the hell out of me. Please, for the love of God. <laughs> I do not want to die. I knew picking Delica was a bad idea. I knew that was a bad idea. Court Grandeur is up to Court Grandeur 3. That's actually really good. We could do a Grand Tournament, but the issue is I think I'd just die. Um, right, any factions against me? Too weak to send ultimatums. Nice. That's what we want to see. That's what we like to see. Right, let's... Um, oh, can I increase the size of these horse archers? That would be really useful. They cost 175. That's the problem. Uh, we could just do Conquer Duchy for something in Bulgaria. Or the Grand Kingdom. Uh, yeah, I think we have to just subjugate the stranger. Because this is so much land. He's got basically no money. I mean, this is kind of a given if we win this. We just have to beat him once. And realistically, I shouldn't be leading the army, I've just realized. Uh, so I'll find someone else to do it. Surely I've got at least one other good commander. Um, okay, literally just one. Fine. And I have to recruit them. You're in. And siege down that capital. God, I really don't want my character to just randomly die. Oh, my Chancellor died of old age. Um... Court Jester is okay. He's actually really good at diplomacy, so let's get him in. Dangerous faction. Ultimatum in 34 months. Eh, you're not too bad. You're not too bad. I can demand your conversion. Let me do that. He gets a weak hook on me, which means he'll probably force himself onto the council, but I don't care. Uh, it means he'll stop being a whiny pee boy. Uh, little, little whiny crybaby. Come on, you, you're trying to flee. You're trying to flee, my friends. Let's chase him down. Oh, we might have him. We might have him. Looks like we've got him. Yep, we got one of them at least. I can hold court again. Suggest you're the first in line to approach. No grave robbing. Dancing plague. Oh, God. Condemned dancing mania. Let's do that. Um, and give some of the court musician trait talent. Yep, that's what we want. Okay, big fight. Easy win. Horse archers every day. For Christ's sake! Right, we're loading up the save. We're loading up the save. <laughs> that fucking boar! <laughs> it's fuck! Damn it! Oh, damn that boar. Alright, we're doing it again. Um, fuck it, we got wounded again. <laughs> ah, let's load it up again. That boar! This is eating into my speedrun time because I'm losing, I'm literally losing time as a result of this. Right, um, we have to send in the hounds. Ah, oh, the hounds did actually win. The hounds did win. It means we don't get the artifact though, which is really bad. That's really, really bad. Uh, oh no, we do get the artifact. Okay, cool, we don't get the pelt. That's the thing we don't get. Oh my god. God damn it. Anyway, um, at least we, uh, at least we can now actually lead another war for once. Right. 
So I need to wait for you to form a kingdom, which we're going to do any day now. There you go. You just formed the kingdom, which is good. You are bastard founder. Good for him. As soon as he forms it, declare subjugation war. Raise all armies. Here we go. Ooh. I could gain some... Pra some prestige? Yeah, why not? There you go, I did. Uh, I beat a wolf, apparently. Uh, recruit someone to my court? Why not? Come on, move these armies together. Move them up, move them up. There we go. Loves to lose stuff. I'm still traveling, so I can't actually help out. There we go. Come on. I'm in. There we go. Alright, go for the fight. Straight for the fight. Yep, look at how fast I am. Jesus Christ. Just speed warring. And if we wipe them, we might capture the king. Nope, we didn't, but we did get quite close. We did get quite close. We captured their high chieftain. Oh. 11 years into the game. 38 minutes. We're doing good. Right, come on. Just one big siege and then I should be done here. A nice swift siege. What have we got here? Oh, I believe my wife might be sleeping with someone else. Ah, it's fine. Look, the more kids, the merrier. I need land. I need kids to hold land. Oh, I've been invited to help out in a war. He doesn't need my help, but fine. I'll join him nonetheless. He seems like he's got everything under control, to be honest. Right, there we go. Siege complete. We captured his son. Apparently that's still not enough. Okay, we just probably need to beat him in one more fight. One quick war, and that should be it. Where are you fleeing to? You are fast. You are very fast, but I am faster. Like a whippet, I will capture you. And, okay, nope, that wasn't enough horse I've still got to do a fight. It's fine. Tribal holdings are quick to siege. Oh, they don't even have any walls, basically. We've got bloody catapults. Oh, one second. I'll be back in a minute. Right, I'm back. Okay, so we now have Kiev under our control. Uh, that's an entire kingdom under our control. Got to be honest, he's not the happiest. Um, but we should be able to ransom for a hook on one of his... Yeah, on his wife. So there we go. He'll give us a hook by giving back his wife. And then in doing so, that means we can now demand him to convert. And he should, should be forced to accept. Oh, my wife is sleeping with my... My someone else's chancellor. <sighs> the cheeky woman. Oh. Um. Okay, yeah, I can force him using my weak hook. There we go. That should force him. There we go. He has converted. Lovely. He's not that happy that I've basically murdered him, but he will make a brilliant addition to the council, and that should kind of mellow him out over time. Um, so with that, how close are we to becoming the greatest of Khans? Literally seven provinces, and we just need to be exalted among men. So we are really close. Uh, let's go for a quick duchy war against King of Minsk, I guess. Um, which one's bigger? Smolensk? Yeah, Smolensk is larger. Oh wait, no, we don't want to raise all. Expand all. Uh, simply raise, raise all men at arms. We don't need a whole army. We literally just need only the men-at-arms. Um, they're, they're good enough. They're quite powerful. We've got prisoners that can be ransomed. Let me... Uh, ooh. Let me ransom you off for a hook. There you go. That'll make you behave. And because you have a hook, I can now force you to convert. Use your hook. And you should accept. Oh, and also, I've got some... Um, 
He wants a hook on me. Um, no, I will not bargain for your soul. I will not do that. Uh, what do I need to do? Oh yeah, I've got a son that needs a name. You there, boy. Rename. You shall instead become... Do do do. Ron White. The legendary... Legendary Ron White. Thank you very much. Oh, wait, no, it's Travis McGuff. Oh my god, I completely missed you. Travis, Jesus, thank you so much for... Uh, generously donating 100 US dollars. That is an insane amount of money, my friend. Thank you very much. Hey, Sir Dr. Spiff, finally caught a l live stream. Thank you for the incredible videos. You introduced me to a lot of new games and given me hours and hours of enjoyment. Can't thank you enough. Oh, thank you very much. Like, that's a huge amount of money. Um, seriously, uh, I'll do my best to put it to good use. By that, it's probably going to be a lot of tea drinking. I, I won't lie, there will be a lot of tea drinking. Can I execute you in a public execution? Yes, I can. That's a good opinion. That gives me control on a bunch of territory. All right, come on, dudes. Recruit. Recruit. Come on, I know you're in here. Load on. Load up the dudes. You've got a claim on the chieftain of Minsk. Minsk. Well, I'm afraid we're already, you know, kind of doing a bit of a cheeky war with them. Uh, come on, men. There we go. You're slowly trickling in. Can I commission an artifact? Yes, I can. Uh, let's get a piece of furniture. Or a... Re uh, yeah, a piece of furniture because they can they can increase um. They can increase prestige, which is basically sorry. No, I mean um. They can increase court grandeur, which is very important for us. If we're able to get up high court grandeur, that's good. Oh, we got a new province. What? What new land did I just get? Uh. Empty holding. This one. No, this was part of mine, right? Um, I mean, hey, I'll give it to one of my sons, I guess. Dynasty, mine. Uh, the disputed heritage bastard child. Why not? Have it. Go for it. Legendary. Legendary Travi. Wait, it's Travis. You're Travi now, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ron White, you're in as well. Ron White. Bam. You are a, once again, a, a spindly bastard. Actually, I suppose you're a child of a concubine, which isn't exactly a bas bastard. You're just a spindly concubi concuboy. Um, hit and run? Living off the land. Now, we want Parthian tactics for the in increased pursuit, because that makes our horse archers even more powerful, which means we just capture people instantly. So there we go. Enforce demands. Bam. All right. Disband the army. It'll take eight months to get home, but that's okay. Um... You look like a county that we could just yoink. Conquer duchy. Oh, it's only two. Um, could do declare war for your duchy. What have you got? It's free in that one. That's not too bad. But you do have a fair bit amount of men, which we don't need to deal with. How many titles are we away? Four. Four titles. It's not many. That's not many at all. Uh, we could go for Bulgaria, actually. Um... Yeah, this county has three titles in it. Would involve doing some sieges, potentially. But I think we can handle it. Plus, potentially, some fights. Do you got any good allies? Not really. The, one of the Carlemains. Carlemangians. I declare war. Uh, let's move all of the dudes over to here. And raise all armies. I found a bug. I can overthrow my liege without being an entrenched regent. Yeah, there's a bunch of uh, lovely entrenched regency bugs uh, in the game, which are pretty cheeky. Pretty cheeky indeed. All right, come on, men. Form up. Form up into a glorious, glorious shieldy wall. Oh, God, you're all going to take seven months, aren't you? Uh, that's fine. Someone's trying to murder Trezon. That's fine. We don't need to worry about that. I'm actually going to quickly nip to the loo. Let me do that. Have a quick pause. Back in a moment. Oh.
All right, I'm back, men. The grand war against Bulgaria continues. <sighs> oh, also, thank you, Malapocalypse, you incredibly generous bastard. Can I just say, there's been like... Oh my god, we're over 2,000 members. We've gained almost 400 members today. Thank you so much, guys. That's obscenely generous. Oh, we got a throne. Ah, uh, that's okay. That's fine. I mean, I'll, I'll sit on it, but it doesn't look that comfortable. In fact, it's a bloody stone. Jeez. Yeah, that seems lovely. Uh, I can appoint worthy successor. No, I can't for you. Can I have one for you? Oh, we do have one for you. Recruit to court. You'll do. You're the successor. God, you're actually really good. Uh, what about you? Nope. No successor for you. Oh, well, that's fine. Unraised. Can you raise yourself up, for goodness sake, you potato? Right, there we go. Finally, all the men are together. In we go. Also, I think I can probably treat myself. I can have another... I can have another onager. Just another another little onager. Why not? I deserve it. Treat yourself with another catapult. Although, to be honest... Look at... Immediately, small wall breach. That's absurd. Oh, new son. Right, we need a new boy. Um, right, I'll give this to chat. This is going to be YouTube chat. This is your physical manifestation, YouTube chat. You're, of course, going to be on a... Um, Martial focus because you're violent, but I will educate you myself <laughs> YouTube you must be taught. Oh, what is this? Someone would like to marry my my daughter foreign ruler Um, I guess he is probably the second biggest Khan Yeah, it's worth doing just for the renown I guess um, Oh, and he just died Well, that's over <laughs> Great Alliance literally Oh my god, that was literally a one-day alliance we managed there. That guy, that old man, built like sticks. What a dude. Alright, there we go. Uh, let's just assault the fort. Two days left, easy peasy. On to the next one. Come on, siege it up. Come on and siege it up. Oh, peasants! Lovely, that's a free bit of prestige. We like that. We like it when the peasants rise up. What do we got here? Another potential siege. Bam, go for it. Ten day siege. God, that was a lot of men we just burned through. Good lord. Don't worry, we can... Uh, we'll, we'll, we got a good marshal, okay? He's able to just raise him up again. Get those levies going again. Pump him up. Pump up those levy numbers. Um, Alright, so basically once we get the uh, the, the like total Khan, Cassus Belli, uh, of course our army becomes just cheap. Cheap as chips. Light cavalry siege progress as well is the absurd one. Basically it means we can use horses to bring down walls. Which, as you can imagine, is pretty good. That's, um, as far as, like, abilities go, that's one of the better ones. Right, uh, where do we want to go to? I guess we want to go down to their capital. We'd lose a lot of men making our way there, so... Ugh, annoying. Very annoying. Just got to siege our way along, I guess. Angry faction brewing. Come on, my lovely boy. My boy, you don't want to do that. Um, can I fix him in any way? Offer guardianship to one of his kids? No. I mean, he's kind of dying. I can offer him a guard, like a... A woman. No, I shouldn't do that. Ooh. Oh, we found the Hungarians. Lovely. Well, I mean, sorry, the Bulgarians. Um, yeah, that's actually pretty good. Uh, let's quickly get an assault off on this fort. What do I want? Living off the land or envelopment? Or do I want prepared conscription or increased advantage? Ugh. I think we want um, envelopment for the men at arms counter efficiency is so good. All right, come on, fast sieges, fast sieges, large wall breach. Speed that up, good job. All right, back into our lands we go. Uh, we've just got to smash them, which uh, we should be able to do. I mean, we're so fast, we should just be able to beeline here. Owner is slightly in debt. Oh dear, oh dear, Bulgaria, what a shame. Right, Duchy of Nitra, they're about to get stomped and they can't even get here in time to reinforce. But they've already committed to moving, so they will die anyway. That is the King of Bulgaria dead. And then here comes their second army. 
Oh, someone's about to leave an independent army. Yeah, I can force that to happen. My spouse has forced someone not to join an independence faction. Very good. And apparently they will send their ultimatum in a few months' time. I mean, I'd like to see them try. And I just need kind of like one more province, really. And then we should be good to go. Ooh, there's another army. There's another army. Potentially, they can fix it. What is this child? Xiao, Xiao Zong? Ah, that's okay. We can have uh, Christine. Christine Newbold. Congratulations. You're, you're a boy now. And you are a little, a little urchin. Ron White is looking like an absolute goblin. Um, I've discovered... Ooh. Could get a hook on a countess. Potentially that would stop them joining an independence faction against me. Or it could increase their few. I think having a hook is better. It means they can't join the independence faction. Which they are probably likely to do. Um, we are going to have an ultimatum in 18 months time. And she was one of them. She was one of them. I knew it. Well, let's get you killed. Come on. Come in here. There we go. 98%. Shalom. Carla Man of Berry. Oh, we captured a Carling. Jeez. What the heck? I guess, can I execute you? I can. It's going to upset the Carlings. But hey, five dreads, five dread. Um, right, there we go. We won that war. Enforced demands. Lovely stuff. That's a new vassal we have. Hello there. Would you like to become Tengri? I mean, you probably wouldn't, but I don't care. Um, right, let's force my men back in. Nickname the lame. What? Right, well, that name's not lasting. That name is not lasting at all. I'll get some prestige. Alright, 16 months until they send their ultimatum. Let me split up my army so they can actually resupply. And then we've got a nice little war on our hands. Oh my god, we've got so many vassals. Sorry, so many prisoners to work through. I mean, if I execute them, do I get a bit of dread? Nope, not on you. What about you? You are a count. Five dread on you. You're a count. Five dread on you. Um, you are not a count. Okay, we can just... I mean, we could mass execute the others, but that's probably a bad idea. It's going to upset a lot of people. But getting some dread is good, as it should help terrify this faction a bit. There we go. They're now too weak. Too weak to send an ultimatum. Nice. Now, how's this war going? How are you losing? How are you losing? You should be an easy walk in the park. Oh my god, you're getting thrashed. And I inherited a new county. Uh, right, let's grant this to a son. Um, Christy Newbold, congratulations. Zero years old, you're a vassal now. You're going to do great. Great things, I'm sure. Okay, I kind of need this war over over here, as it means I can't have my men doing other things. So I'm just going to send over my uh, my king. <laughs> He's just going to run across the world. Oh my god, you're going in a boat? Jeez. Oh, here we go. Uh, rally the troops. We've got a Northman in army invasion. 10,000 men coming for the conquest of somewhere. Okay, that's going to be fun. We could fight the Nords the old-fashioned way. If they want land, we could give it to them. Um, no, don't need that. In my experience, they prefer gold. Oh, I could just pay him off. Uh, 500 gold isn't actually that bad. Yeah, why not? That seems completely fine. Yeah, 500 gold for him to bugger off. Cool. That's brilliant. Don't mind if I do. Come on, I need to fix this war. This is a terrible war. I mean, if he wins his siege, there's a chance he just captures the other king. Nope, but he did get 70% war score, so if I win this fight, that should be game over for this war. Come on. Can pardon criminals? Um, don't need to do that. Oh, God, another fornicator. Goddamn fornicators. Everywhere. Grand Vassal to Rightful Liege. Let's do that. Grand Vassal to Rightful Liege. Fix it all up. It doesn't change my 
can't. No, I just, I literally just need one more province. One more province. It's all I need. God, Draxum has become actually a good lord. He's got a, got a decent amount of dudes. Decent amount of dudes. Come on. Come on. Just get over here. I need this war over so I can then disband my men, raise them up, and conquer one province. One province is all I need. There we go, victory. There we go, disband all. Yes. Thank God. Okay, right. One county is all I need. I'm afraid this guy, it ain't, it ain't looking good. Let me get someone else's claims on it as well. Raise all men at arms. Um, I don't think we needed all of these men, to be honest. Uh, oh, is this meant? Was this meant to be my daughter? Nope. Apparently, there is a, a sus child, though, as I would describe it. <laughs> oh, right. What do we want? Um, hit and run. Strict organization. I mean, prepared conscription is good because the levy reinforcement rate is useful. But no, let's go for um, living off the land because it increases your travel speed, which I don't know if it increases your actual army movement speed. Um, I could be completely wrong. I think it does have an impact, though. Can pardon this vassal? Nah, he's fine. Right, in we go. And there we go. Easy fight. Easy fight. Easy fight. Crushing victory. Total crushing victory. Just now we need to do our siege. We've got 9,000 men. God, the Great Khan Wars are about to begin. And when they do, King Byzantine Empire ain't gonna last. Great uh, Great Moravia. Well, that's about to be uh, dead Moravia. Dead Moravia. We're only one hour in as well. We're doing good. Good speed. Good speed. Bam. War complete. Enforced demands. Disband all. Ladies and gentlemen, become greatest of Khans. I require one more province still. Okay. One more province. This man over here. This man here. Declare war. Your duchy. My duchy. Raise all men at arms. The horses have been summoned. 1,000 horses. Bam. 142 horse damage. That was instant death. <laughs> Disband all. Oh, we have land. Oh, we have land. Become greatest of Khans. We can do it. This is where my conquest truly begins. I lose the nickname of the lame. Be careful who you call lame in high school, kids. Oh my god, we gained a, an army of several thousand men as well. 40,000 men is what we've got. Look at the hordes! Oh my god. Right, my son, one of my sons need these lands. Uh, my son and player and son, you can have all of these. Actually, I can't give you that one, can I? Yeah, I can't. Granted to a son who isn't the main son. You, you can have all of these. Um, congrats. That's yours. Uh, Count Ron White II. <laughs> He's not looking too hot. He's pretty pretty rough and spindly. Um, right. Let's see what this war can do. Can I declare war on you? I mean, I'm pretty sure we have a truce. Kingdom of Bulgaria. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Right. Raise one of the Mongol hordes. I will lead it myself. Personally, we will raise, raise their empire to the ground. The great Mongol horde. Can I declare an... Oh, I can't watch. There's another army raised. Beans. Okay, we'll do this war and then we're probably going to have to declare multiple wars all at the same time. Yes. Yes! Fly, my pretties! What a great, brilliant siege. Oh my god, how fast is the siege? Seven days! Seven days! What the fuck? What the actual fuck? What? Oh my god! Oh, they've landed some men. Raise! Raise the men-at-arms. The men-at-arms will raise. 
Go. Go, my pretties. Shatter them. Shatter them. We might have less numbers. Does not matter. The horse archers. Oh my god, the horse archers. Right, Snuggle, Snuggle Pass has, lo has leveled up. By that I mean she's old now. Let's get a matrilineal marriage off with this dude. Oh my god. Excellent. Excellent stuff. What a glorious fight, my men! Oh, they are so good. That's a war. Kingdom of Bulgaria. Ours. It's that easy. Oh my god, it's that easy. Grand 2. Which of my sons wants it? Dynasty. Malapocalypse. There you go, have it. Grand titles. Can I just give you all of these? I can't, no. I mean, I guess I can grant these to locals of my faith. Grant to one of my son and ward. Yeah, YouTube chat. YouTube chat. You can have a bunch of Bulgaria. I know you love it. You can control it, I'm sure. Grant titles. Bam. All right, let's declare some wars. Wallachia. Declare war. Mongol Invasion CB, Kingdom of Wallachia. Pannonia, declare war, Kingdom of Pannonia. I don't have enough prestige. Oh, damn it. Okay, right. Uh, whilst this war is going on, I'm going to have a hunt. Usual, normal hunt. Hair sighting is good. Let's get maxed out party size. Slay the beast. Start hunt. Right, meanwhile, let's raise up one of our hordes. God, they are so effective. I, I literally can't believe how strong these horses are. Go, my men. For Cumber, yes, we do actually need to grab it, don't we? Who is the traitor? Let's grab him. Uh, well, we can just expose him, actually. That's fine. Royal Court, what have we got? We have nabbed some artifacts, didn't we? House Banner. <laughs> we don't really need these, to be honest. <laughs> but they're fun. Right, Quick Siege. How fast? 14 days. Jesus Christ. It's so good. It is so good. I wonder if I should actually raise up some men to raid. I can't because I'm at war. But yeah, raiding could be good because we can get a lot of prestige from it. Uh, but hunting will do for now. Hunting will do for now quite nicely. Soon we will slay the beast. Oh, yes, burn the land. New master of the hunt, that's good. We get some prestige for that. And that's just what we need, more and more prestige. Bam. Easy fight. Go for the capital. That's all we need. We got um, some prisoners. Oh, we got a few. What about you? I could... You're worth a bit. Sac to literally kill you would be um, 10 dread. Let's go for a public execution, why not? That'll keep the plebs in line. And it gives me some nice dread to keep uh, all of the, all of my actual uh, vassals in line as well. I go for the capital. I can't believe how fast these guys siege. That is absurd. It's so strong. Right. How's my, how's my hunt going? Okay, starting in a few more days. 12 days. On this siege, let's get out there. Um, hair is basically nothing. Let's go for a wolf. And there we go, 100%. Will actually is ours. Disband all. Carnate of Bulgaria. Let's, um, I think you need Grant Vassal, really. You need, um, you need YouTube chat, don't you? Realistically. Which I suppose I could give you Draxum, couldn't I? I guess it would make sense. God, Draxum is looking a bit worse for wear. Could gain poacher training. Yeah, why not? That'll boost me a bit. Okay, uh, what do I do with these lands? Grant to... I mean, I could give some more to... Uh... No, let's go for... Let's go for a new player. Someone... Someone with strong martial or... 
diplomacy who likes me. You seem good. Yeah, you'll do fine. You'll do great. Pop you in. I I expect grand things from you. Oh, and then I should probably actually grant you... Uh, uh, I can actually probably just hand you over to the Kingdom of Bulgaria, can't I? Grant Vassal... Who is this dude? This man, Grant Vassal. There we go. Bam. And Grant Vassal... Can I hand you YouTube chat? No, I can't. I can't hand you YouTube chat because technically that's not in my domain. That's fine. Alright, let's raise some raiders as well. And let's go raid the Byzantines. Uh, mediator, let's grab that. That's extra diplomacy. After we ride, more perilous, but that doesn't matter. I suppose it does. Um, peasants denied forest. Or aided peasants. Uh, we can go for that, we can go for that. Connor Cook, thank you very much for $10. That's incredibly generous. And the hunt failed. Damn it. That's annoying. That is very annoying. We still gain 187 prestige, though. Just for the uh, the vibe of it all. And once we get back home, uh, we should be able to become the head of these raiders. Which can have 1,000 uh, loot. Let's get raiding. Let's get raiding. Oh, do we want to never back down? It is good. Now, hit and run. I want sappers. I just want to be able to siege at an absurd degree. What did we ra Oh, yeah, we, we haven't raised any of our event troops, which is very important. We don't want them to be uh, attritioned off because they're very useful. Um, okay. do, 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 do. I've lost my court jester. Oh, we loved him. We loved our court jester. Um, right. right. There we go. I'm back inside, which means I can now lead my troops. Which means I can now move at an incredible speed. Come on. Come on. Tournaments give more? Yeah, but the issue is tournaments take longer. You have to spend a long while doing a tournament. Whereas we, we'll get like 200 prestige from just doing this. Oh, I got a new son. Uh, right. Connor Cook, you're in. May you grow to be strong and wise, my boy. Do I need a new concubine? How old is this one? 54. Dismissed concubine. I need a new one. Younger. This fecund, this fecund woman, she will do. She hates me, but, you know, kid's a kid. All right, there we go. Look at this. So much money we're going to get from this. So much money. There we go. Just keep going. Oh, what's this? Snugglepuss. My dear husband, I'm worried for your son YouTube chat. Um, oh, apparently... Apparently you're struggling, guys, and they want Snugglepuss to teach you. You know what, Snugglepuss is a, actually really high learning, so that's probably not a bad idea. Um, I realize it's Snugglepuss because of my amazing typo again. Yep, that's my bad. Bounty full plunder, more loot. More loot is more good. All right, here we go. Literally 426 gold and prestige we're going to get from this. Alright, back into our lands we go. Actually, we can still pillage these quite nicely. Oh! Someone's been exposed. Count Mulian. That's naughty. That's naughty. Very naughty. Right, and well, bam here we go. 500 gold, 500 prestige. That's going to give us enough to declare some more kingdom invasion CBs. So let's go for Panoia. Mongol invasion CB. And then who else have we got around here? Moldova. Declare war. Kingdom of Moldova. Right, let's raise up one of our hordes. Same horde again. That should be all we need over here. And then if we raise up a second horde, this one will be led by our vassal. His job is very simple. Take out Panoia. We will deal with uh, the main one. Alright, here we go. Divide and conquer, baby. Speedrun time. There we go. That's a good fight. Alright, and then straight on to their capital. Yes, we can chase them down. We can chase them down like 
for no problem at all. Where are they trying to go to? Here. Right, well, we can fight them. They might be defending in mountains, but it doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter. We are just that fast. Horse archers? Of course they work in mountains. Of course they do. They just, they're just that good. Just that good. Alright, siege down that capital. Good capture. Straight on, here we go. Another good capture there. Oh, yes. Oh, there we go. That's Moldavia done. Enforce demands. This army can immediately just wander straight on over here. Hungary will fall as well. God, what a great fight. What a great war this is. I've never I've never become a great calm before. This is absurd. This is absolutely absurd. Let's employ both strategies, of course. They're just that good with negotiating. Alright, there we go, that's hungry done. Force demands. Oh, it's good. It is so good. Alright. Oh, someone's holding an activity here. Uh, I don't think they are anymore. The land's kind of changed ownership. Right, let's take a look at our Kingdom of Hungary title. We can grant it to my son, Connor Cook, as well as all of the lands. And then we can also ha hand him Moldova as well. There we go. He can, he can sort out all of that, my sweet boy. Go, Connor Cook, you lovely majestic sausage. Right, Byzantines now. Declare war, Mongol invasion. What do we want? Kingdom of... Uh, Kingdom of Thessalonica, I feel. Probably be the best, so we'll declare for Kingdom of Thessalonica. Great Moravia as well. Let's go for... Great Moravia, yep. Um, what do we got here? Balaton as well. We can declare war for the Carnate there. Cool, let's do that. Right. We could probably do actually moving our rally point. Move it to about halfway. Okay, right, we want to raise one stack. You're going to go up here. We can lead that one personally and uh, just beeline the capital. Um, and then once we move, I want to raise another one. All right, you're going to be our... You're going to be our Byzantine uh, pusher. So you've got to go this way. And then finally, we want one final stack. Oh, I could bang a dude. Um, no, thank you. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> Appreciate the offer, though. Uh, right, and then we want to go up here as well. And there we go. Three Mongol hordes dispatched. Oh, here we go. Look at that. Their their armies are pathetic. Let's actually try and uh, let's try and fight this here. It's such a fast siege. Oh, new sun. Uh, random trajectory. Oh wait, no. RTD42. RTD42. RTD42, congratulations, you've just been born just in time to inherit a giant swave of land. Um, right, there we go, so that's a good siege. On to the next one. New mar martial perk. Sappers for even faster siege process. Right, how are you doing? You're sieging really well. Good job. Right, let's try and capture those uh, Byzantinians as well. Oh, yeah, we should have this, no problem. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I mean, our horse archers are doing 45 damage, which is really nice. Good fight going on here as well. All right, there we go. You've sieged that. Now go on to the capital. You've sieged that. Now go over here and stop them sieging us. How is the Byzantinian fight going? That is total victory. We can defeat their reinforcements as well. Instantaneously, almost. Oh, lovely stuff. So effective. So effective. So many multiple fronts. And yet so much glorious success. There we go. That's an instant win. We captured, I think, the king. So be it. On to the next one. Actually, we've got a capital over here. Let's aim for the capital. Oh, we've got some new lands to dish out as well. We'll have to deal with that in a bit. Do, 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 do. Quick, easy fight there. Do we want to go straight for the Byzantinian capital? Oh, we captured another king, so that's another war over. Oh, yes. Um, right, you men might as well just disband. 
I realize we're still at war, actually. That was a bad idea. So they're going to take 11 months to get home now. But it's fine. They were just, um, just event troops so that we don't have to raise them up every time. Oh my god, we can just go straight to the Byzantinian capital. How long would it take us to besiege the capital? What an absurd idea. If Can we actually take the Byzantinian capital? We might accidentally just um, win the war here. Nope. Okay, right. I want to go for the capital. We're going to lose some troops. How many? 200. That's fine. I want to see just how absurdly viable it is. Come on. How long would it take horses to bring down the walls? Three months! Only three months! For those fe those colossal giant walls. The Theodosian walls, ladies and gentlemen. A garrison of 4,000 men. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. That's just absurd. All right, Khanate of Greater Moravia. Grant to my son, Arty. You can also have... The Carnate of... Which one's this? I can't remember. High Chieftain? There we go. The Carnate of this one. Whatever. Have it, boy. Sweet. That's another King Sun. Oh. We've done it. That's the war. We captured the Byzantinian capital. The Spandor. Constantinople is ours. It is ours. Oh, we can make, we can form the kingdom. Grant to... Uh, one of my sons that doesn't have much. There you go. He can have it. <laughs> YouTube chat, congrats. You're now the controller of the entire kingdom of bloody Thessalonica. <gasps> kingdom of Italy? Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Right, let's uh, work out these next wars. Right, I think declare there. Can we declare here? Yes, we can. Oh, wait, no, I want Mongol invasion, please. There we go. And then Mongol invasion here. And then Mongol invasion here. To be fair, we could probably do with um, heading towards India as well. We've got to kind of wrap that up at some point. Uh, Bohemia, declare war, Mongol invasion. Uh, Silesia, declare war, Mongol invasion. What do I need here? What about you? You can be declared war, Mongol invasion. And so can you, Mongol invasion. Oh, actually, I can't. I don't border you. Cool. Men, move over to here. And let's raise all men-at-arms. Because our men-at-arms are the most powerful things we have. Oh, shit. Uh, and also all armies. Okay, that should fix that. And I'm going to have to hire some mercs, aren't I? Yep. Because otherwise I'd accidentally kill my ruler. Send in some reinforcement, dudes. That was embarrassing. Almost uh, lost my entire king's life there. Oops. Oh, Chris Campbell has grown up to become a thrifty clerk. Good stuff. Let us matrilinearly marry you off to someone very strong. Um, I mean, you're okay. You'll do fine. There we go. Excellent stuff. Lovely stuff. Right, there we go. The men at arms raised. The army's raised, even. Stop gathering, my men. Stop gathering. Lovely stuff. Right, so let's get sieging. I should probably be leading this, shouldn't I? Yeah, I should. Bam. Oh my goodness, just literally a few days. And there we go. That's a valuable hostage court. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> These wars are so fast. It's literally like one day to siege a province. Bam, right, there we go. One war one. Job done. On with the next one. Chase them down, teabag. Chase them down. Capture them. Fight their king. Good stuff. Straight to their capital. Don't even need to worry about fort control because for some reason it doesn't matter anymore. There's no attrition if you're just a really fast horse. There we go. That's uh, almost the entire war done. And... Oh, a new sun. New sun has arrived. Uh, this one needs to be a new, uh, one for chat. Random Trajectory, actually. Thank you very much, Random Trajectory. He has been a channel member for 11 months now. Right, over here, come on. Quick war. Should I raise up a Khan Horde? Probably should, shouldn't I? Let's raise up uh, this one. 
let's give you a good commander. You're decent. Go fight for this province. You should get there first and win. To do, to do. Right, that's another war complete. Enforce demands. Job done. Who else am I at war with? This man. Okay, right, let's go siege down their provinces. Do, 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 do. Alright, this should be a quick win. Oh, you're gonna flee. You're gonna flee, are you? Well, you might think you're defending a river crossing, but you're actually dying to horse archers, which are very powerful boys. Oh, so powerful boys. Good luck. Good luck, you fools. Alright, lovely stuff. Okay, that's one siege complete. Onwards to the next one. Ten days. Job done. Onwards to the next one. <laughs> God, it is insane how fast it is. Alright, we can actually move into this land now. Oh, and I noticed actually, we are at war with this kingdom. Yes, we should probably knock them out. Uh, and what do we want to grab? Never back down for friendly fatal casualties decreased. Is actually a good idea. Oh, I need to capture you, don't I? Alright, next one. Wiggle our way around, come on. Empty council position. Oh, we need a new chancellor. You will do fine. Even if you hate me, you will still be fine. Right, which one are we losing? Invasion of Poland. Ah, okay, they control a bit of land. That's nothing. Right, let's knock you out. And that should be this war over. You're going to be knocked out by this. By me capturing your capital. Come on. There we go. No, let me capture you. Let me capture you. Come back. There we go. And there we go. This should be this war over. Oh, my son has grown up. Khan Malopocalypse. There you go. He's actually... He's the primary heir. Good stuff. Right, that's one fight done. Let's send the men up north. Up to Poland, I think, yeah. Poland needs the help. Right, this should also be the green faction basically dealt with. I can hear a doggo. I know, I can hear doggo too. Georgie is having a big old wolf. Which probably means... Is there like an Asda van outside? It's entirely possible. It's usually the Asda vans. Those heinous evil Asda vans that evilly decide to come over and make a, make a ruckus with their food deliveries. How dare they. Oh, I gained some dread. Yeah, why not? Gain some dread. Dread's always good. Send this stack up there. I've got some court artifacts I need to deal with. Oh yeah, I do. Image of Odessa. Nice. Stole that. That's good. What have we got here? Slovenian court politics. Stole that. That's a good one. Any others? No, that's that's pretty much all of the good ones gone. Nice. Right, there we go. So we've captured this. Let's go fight the Italian army. God, we are we have no supply, but it doesn't matter because we have horse archers. And apparently that'll do. Um, that'll do nicely. God, we are attritioning like nobody's business as well. I just need this war done very fast, basically, so I can dismiss the troops. <laughs> right, let's go fight the army over here. Alright, go over here as well. Army is literally starving to death. It's fine. They don't need food, they just need victory. You can eat victory. Taste the victory. Yum, 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 yum. Don't you just love the taste of victory? Sweet, 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 tasty victory. Oh, that's a big thump as well. This way. Ambush. Capture this army. Stack wipe, ideally. I can also split up these men so they don't all die. Ugh, not really. There's nowhere that really has great supply here. Split up the men. Um, God, what is this? Okay, growing a rivalry with someone? Nope, don't need that. Uh, get some opinion. I can forgive him. Oh my God, my son died. Draxum, no! Drowned? F fucking hell, Draxum. Jeez. You didn't... Why did you die? I'm going to become a drunkard now. Frozen in grief. Balls. 
Oh, I captured, so that's one more over. Good job. Okay, uh, let's disband all of these men, because otherwise we're going to have major attrition penalties. We've got to go, I'm sorry. Go not attrition to death. There we go. Right, now these men are able to resupply. Which is very important. Draxum, I know. You died. I'm sorry. Like, I... I can't control you from drowning. Well, stop you from drowning. Like, that's kind of on you. What can I sponsor? A brooch. Fine, I've got, like, infinite money at this point. Aaron married? Uh... Let's go for... I guess someone with high stats? Do we have anyone, like, inheritable traits? Any good ones? Like, a genius? You're good, you're good. Okay, send proposal. Bam, we'll have you married off to a genius. You'll produce good children. Oh, hello there, Duke. You just lost. Um, let me go invade Bohemia, actually. Seeing as my men are resupplying currently and can't do much. Oh, mercenary contract expiring. Ah, that's fine. We don't need them. Oh, I can dedicate stuff to some vassals who hate me. Uh, yeah, why not? It might make them like me a bit more. Until my men, my men are off qualifying in tournaments. That's lovely. Good for them. Uh, right. Now that we have some resupplied men, let's merge them up and start sieging. Let's get going. Come on, wiggle on. Wiggle on, my boys. God, how many prisoners do we have? We've got a lot of prisoners. Could I just kill them all? Execute all 68 prisoners. Why not? Oops. It's fine. It's fine. How much dread do we... 100 dread. Bloody heck. That's a lot of dread. <laughs> that's a lot of dread. Well, let's grab strategist. Oh my god. That's so much... This bar is just going to keep going. Oh my lord. It's just going to keep... How many How many men can we fit in this... Uh, in the body pit? Turns out quite a lot. God, the game is lagging. The game is actually lagging now with the amount of death we just caused. Oh my god, can I clear him? I can't. I literally can't even clear him fast enough. Come on, just clear up at some. Clear up some. God damn, that's wild. Oh my god, that's insane. Um, I hope we didn't incur any tyranny penalties there. Anyway, Kingdom of Bavaria is ours. So that's uh, easy war. My woman, you're 43 now. You did make me three children, which is good, but I'm going to need to dismiss you, and I think I'm going to need another concubine. Um, I'm looking for another... Ideally, another very... A fertile concubine. There you go. You will do. You will do. You will do nicely. Right. What can I send you up to? You can help siege down this. God, dis determining who controls what land is going to be a faff. So let's create the Kingdom of Bavaria. Grant to random trajectory. You will also be given the... Uh, Jesus, you can also have all of this, I guess. Have all this land. I mean, I can't control it. Um, High Chief from Silesia. High Chief from Salzburg. Yeah, just have the whole of Bavaria. There we go. Just enjoy it all, my boy. I don't want to control it, okay? You can. You can divvy it up and sort it out however you please. There we go, right. And then also all of this. Okay, I don't actually... I don't have the ability to pass any of that off, but that's fine. Uh, Kingdom of Hungary. I can grant you titles. You can have all of this. Okay, I can't, actually. I, oh, no, I can. There we go. It just wasn't recently captured. So that's why I couldn't hand it off. There we go. And... Lovely stuff. You can have the... Was it High Chiefdom of Wallachia? I think that should also be yours, right? So there you go, have it. My lovely kid. Oh my god. Like, this is literally nepotism patrol. We're just handing our kids the entire bloody world on a platter. Oh. Oh dear, my daughter was having. is, is fornicating. Well, I mean, it's fine. If she produces any kids, you know, we can, like, hand them land, I guess. Right, good stuff. That's a war. That's Bavaria, Bohemia done. I think for Bohemia, we should probably hand this off to someone who isn't one of our kids. Let's create King of Bohemia. Grant to... Um, 
Let's find someone who's loyal, I guess. Ideally, we want content and loyal. Gregarious, brave, and content. There you go. You'll do nicely. Have the entire kingdom of Bohemia. Bam. Grant titles. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. I don't have a peace treaty with you, do I? Yes, I do. Damn it. But let's go for the... Uh, start going down south, I guess. Mongol invasion for kingdom of... Armenia? Yeah, let's go for Armenia. Let's go for Armenia. Got to quickly move some troops over, though. Um, should we just put down a new... A new area? There we go. Raise up our lovely army. And let's declare... Oh, wait. No, I need to disband. Sorry, not allowed to have troops raised. I'm a potato. Mongol invasion. Kingdom of Armenia. Bam. Raise up one of our Mongol hordes. Actually, do I want to declare another war whilst I do this? Augurs, I guess, is an is another easy one. Mongol invasion. Let's go for that. I will need another... Another quick Mongol horde raise, though. There we go. You'll do nicely. You can be led by this man. And you should literally just go straight for the bloody capital. Just go for the capital. It doesn't matter if there are casualties. Um... Let's raise men at arms here. Okay, I honestly think we can probably beat the Carnate with just our men at arms, but just to be certain, I'll set this as my selected rally point, and I accidentally just raised men elsewhere, right? You're going to have to come all the way down. Five months that's going to take, but that's fine. We can probably do some sieging before then. Right, you're doing good. Actually, maybe you should do some sieging. It doesn't take you that long. You have got a bunch of horse archers. Come on, the Cumbum Horde rides. We should be able to get to Cumbum quite quick, actually. We've got dangerous factions. None that could send an ultimatum. Except maybe you, peasant rabble. That's just the peasants. They're fine. Who cares? All right, there we go. Quick siege. Oh, here they come. Okay, right, we are going to need more. Raise local army. And potentially, have we got any mercs that could be good? Uh, yeah, you'll do fine. Fuck, you raised up the wrong one. Fucker. Absolute bastard, right. Go merge up with these boys, I guess. Right, there we go. Come siege down this. And then men, you need to come in and reinforce very quickly. Very, very quickly, please. I do not want our king dying. Yes, he lives, he lives, he lives, he lives. Yes, Teabag lives again. Teabag lives again. Ooh, what do we get? Every powerful vassal gains 20 opinion of me. Um, increased defenses? Invest the money in local area? No. Yeah, hold up. Make everyone like me more. That's a good idea. All right, and let's start sieging up these lands. Ah, yes, my other carnate horde arrived. Lovely. But I should I really should have got a commander here. This was a really dumb idea. Uh, you lose so many men if you don't have a commander. Oh, my fertility just got a boost. Nice. Let me pop that brooch on. Right, you need a commander to siege down. How are we doing here? We've almost won there. Need a steward, a sign. God, it's nice and frantic, but we're making good progress. Very good progress. That's another siege complete. Onwards we go. Oh, I seized a sword artifact. That's a terrible sword artifact. Now it's another siege complete. Onwards we go. Oh, there's the army. There's their army. Turn around, fight it. Fight their army, come on. Fight it. You know you want to. Chase it down. Chase it down. We're like an absolute beelining rocket. We cannot be stopped. You want to fight in a mountain? Sure. Horse archers work in mountains, trust me. Oh, you want to fight us on the hills? Oh, please do. Please, 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 please. Please, 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 please. Actually, we get the defender advantage over here. Yes, this would be good. Oh, shit. I accidentally walked into them. Uh, oh, well. That's fine. Okay, that's another easy fight. Chase them down. I just want to get some casualties, honestly, now. Uh, that's another siege province. Let's go up here and siege down that. Oh, you want to try and hold... Fight me on... 
planes. Yes, please. Please fight me on planes. It's such a bold move. Such a strong, strong, attentive idea. Right, it should be a few, a few days and then that'll get burnt down. Oh, we got peasants. Lovely. Rally the peasants. Or rally the armed forces to deal with the peasants, rather. Let's send you up north to deal with them. And then when the siege completes, the uh, war should be over for this kingdom. There we go. The Mongol invasion of Armenia. Force demands. Right. Kingdom of Armenia. Create. Who do we want to give this to? Uh, Any one of our dynasty, I guess. Oh, wait. Uh, have we got any... Yeah, we've got a vassal who basically just doesn't have anything, so he can have it. There you go, you can be a king. Need a new chancellor. You'll be good. You're pretty decent. Right, and then I can disband you when you get back home. God, what are these peasants doing? They're just being useless. Come on. How big is our realm up to? 336 counties. So we've more than... We've basically quadrupled the size of our kingdom in the span of one less than one lifetime. We're only um, 25 years into the game. Oh, there's his army. That's all we needed to defeat. Right, let me beat that up. Oh, where's this peasant horde going? Here. Nice. That'll be an easy win. Where the heck has he gone? Where's my boy gone? He was around here somewhere. Hmm. Additional perk. Let's get... Household guard, I guess. Alright, here we go. Round we go. Smash up the peasant faction. I mean, God, it's so easy to fight peasant factions. We literally just... We're in. Our horse archers shoot and everyone dies. Look at that. 130 kills to zero deaths for the horse archers. That's how absurdly effective they are. Oh, we found him. We found him. We found him. Oh, I guess we can just have to siege some more. We've got to chase him down. It feels like half his land is occupied by some other dude. So, until we deal with them, we kind of have a problem. Oh, I got a new daughter. Lovely. Um, chat, I'm going to need a name for this, this daughter after a while. Uh, it's up to you. I believe in you. Horse archers go brrrr. They do. Right, peasant revolt done. Now I just need to deal with this war, which should be over with this single fight. He has horse archers of his own. Minor superior. Oh, okay. It's a sickly daughter. Oh my god. She's got all of the worst traits. Holy moly. She's a, she's a sickly bleeder. Jeez. Um, I mean... Uh, name her Mike. Magic. She's going to become Magic Mike. That's a good suggestion. Oh, Karen. Yes, Karen. She's always complaining about her physical ailments. Much better name. Good luck, Karen. I wish you the best. Right. Uh, enforce the bands. Good stuff. Good stuff. I have an idea, actually. So, my wives are married to, um, to people. And what I can do is I can just grant these... Can I grant you a title? So it is a matrilineal marriage, so if I invite you to court, like if I say send you a gift of gold and then invite you to court, will you come? No, you won't. Alright, let me find you a husband who could be a good king. Matrilineal. You. You will do fine. You'll do fine. Alright, come over here. Oh, you're his lieges. A religious relative. Look, I can grant you a title. There we go. I can grant you a title. And because you're matrilineally married, it will basically just go to my, um... My, uh... My... Well, my one of my daughters. So, that's basically how I'm managing it. Fusion Warrior will just look after this man. And all of the kids will become... Will, will inherit. That's what we want. Catch my coin purse. I can become the owner of a dagger. Why not? Is it good? No, it's terrible. Why did I spend 250 gold on that? That's abysmal. 
Right, uh, this kingdom needs to be invaded. Mongol invasion. Um, God, none of these are actually good. Kingdom of Plobia has to be. Um, what's this kingdom? Afrid Carnate, we can do that. Declare war. Um, what else have we got around here? Poland. Do a declare war for Kingdom of Poland. Yep, Kingdom of Poland. We can also go for you. Mongol invasion. We can also go for you. Declare war Mongol invasion. Italy is still kind of off the limits at the moment. Oh, you're independent. You are invadable. Declare war. Let's quickly delete our rally points so that everything is more um, more streamlined. Okay, here's the rally point. Lovely. Right, so I think firstly we're going to raise men at arms. And this will be our first stack that's going to go down south here to deal with this kingdom is my goal. They should be able to do it quite fast. Right, come on. I'm, I've basically set myself a time limit of... I've got about nine more minutes to see how much I can expand this realm. Um, right, we'll send my king down there. Go, 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 go. Right, uh, so let's raise one horde. Horde number one. You will go after this kingdom here. Go. Horde number two. You are looking glorious today. You are going to go after this kingdom up here. Horde number three. You need a commander. You are also going to go after this kingdom up here in Poland. Right, let's go. Go, men, go! Efficiency. This is efficiency. How many prisoners do I have now? Imagine I'm back up... Yeah, I'm back up to 16 prisoners. Good lord. Well, my dread hasn't slipped since the last time. Look at that. Oh, you thought you could siege. You thought you could siege. Get horse archered. Get horse archered, you fool. You fool. And that's the war instantly over because you've been captured. Good job. Speed warring. Swift, swift speed war. Oh, you know what? Let's just jump on you. Jump on you nice and quick. We might have another fast war here as well because we've got a king. We've got another king to swiftly grab. Come on, chase him down. Nope, almost had it. Almost had it. All right, straight into the capital though. You can do the same here. Oh, valuable hostage. There we go, that's Bulgaria captured. Right, send this stack up north. God, this is so bloody intense. Like, it's so swift. So much micromanagement. It's absurd. Oh, we seized another sword. Another good sword. Um, let's go here. Oh, that's Kingdom of Poland over. War complete. Now I need to take over this place. And also we need this kingdom knocked out as well. Oh, it seized an ancient plaque. Lovely. Let's go down south. Stop these boys from uh, capturing a mountain of mine. Alright, where do you need to go? Uh, here, I think, is basically the only place. Where are you fleeing? Are you fleeing? That's actually not a good location to really attack. Oh, uh, it is across the river, but I don't care. Horse archers will do fine. They will do fine. Oh, God, that's actually way too many casualties. I did not want that many casualties. New daughter. Uh, this is going to be DK. Thank you, DK, for the 20, 20 gift subs. May you grow to be strong and wise. Slash, just produce me a bunch of kids that I can send off in wars. All right, there we go. That's another war complete. Invasion of Poland done. What do we got here? Uh, Mongol invasion of Samid. Oh god, I completely forgot about this. Um, fucking hell. Uh, let's send over. Let's send over our main force. It's going to take you 14 months to get here. 14 months. Right. I guess go fast, my boy. Go fast, my king. Right. Let's chase down this army. God, we are making so much prestige. Let's um, boost up the size of some of these horse archer regiments. Because we can. I mean, look at them. Plus 31 additional damage is obscene. 
And that's not even, like, maxed out, because we can upgrade the holdings, I know, and I haven't done any of that. Where is my capital? Here it is. <laughs> right, yeah, you're upgraded to tribal hold 2. I want to convert you to a horse herds. And if I cancel you, do it again, come on, repeat. It should go a bit faster. Only got five minutes, so um, we need to do some swift warring. Let's actually go up to speed five. Speed five's a good one. Uh, quick siege there. Quick siege here. Come on. Come on. Quick occupations. Quick occupations. That's what we like to see. Speed it up. Speed it up. That's bold. Plobia is ours. Lovely. So be it. Let's find a kid to inherit all of this. Grant two. I need a son. Give me a part of my dynasty. There we go. We've got a grandson. Uh, Carnate of Sorbia. Yep, that's yours. Along with all of this. Just take it all. Take it all, my boy. You're going to do great things, I'm sure. Bam. And then I need someone to hold on to actually this land as well. Kingdom of Bulgaria. Um, which I can just grant these titles to my son, can't I? Yep, my player and son. Take all of these, my boy. You're the king of Bulgaria. I don't need them. Right, uh, we can disband all of these. Alright, come on. Swift wall. Where's my army? Ah, oh, yes. Look, my son of Vassal, he's grown up. Why does he hate me so much? Too many duchies? Too many duchies? Do people really hate me that much? That seems like a, a non-issue. A non-issue at all. I hardly control duchies. I only got like, you know, 24 duchies. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh dear, let me grant that to you. I can't even, I can't even, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, who cares if I hold too many duchies? Nobody cares. Um, pff, a man's uh, strict organization, why not? YouTube chat has died. Died from stress. He was 14 years old. 14 years old. What stress was he going through? My god! What a poor guy! Well, swift war. Swift war indeed. YouTube chat, I'm afraid you're all dead. F for yourselves, I guess. And I want to become a weed smoker in order to counter it. Um, no, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> that does not strike me as a wise, wise investment. Oh, one of my characters of Someone's a fornicator, lovely. Right, bam, capture all of that. What, another one of my sons has now grown up, which means he'll immediately hate me for having too many duchies. But does he not mind? No, he doesn't mind. He still loves me for like a hundred years because I gave him so much land. Right, come on, let's get sieging. Karen's died. No, rest in peace, little Karen. Rest in peace, gone too soon from this world. Rest in peace. Oh, look at that. Swift war. Instant capture. Another kingdom is ours. So be it. Right, let's find a son that dislikes me. My grandson. You don't, you'll do nice. You will do nice. Right, bam. I have all of this. I don't need it. Take it all. My god. I got two minutes. Can I do two more wars in that much time? Mongol invasion for the Grand Emirate. Mongol invasion... I can't do a Mongol invasion for you. Why not? Why can't I? There we go. Yes, I can. Grand Emirate again. Right, let's go quick. Quick, quick, quick. We haven't got much time. i got to make this fast. Got to make this very fast. Which means raise men at arms, raise Mongol horde, raise Mongol horde. Go. Quick, very swift, very swift. Still standing. That's that's good. Um, where's the goddamn fort here? I guess it's here. There we go. Right, quick siege occupy. Capture the castle. Good job. Immediately continue. He's got 7,000 men, but look how fast we can siege on 5 speed. It, do it literally does not matter. Look at me go. Look at me. Go there we go. 100%. That's it. Enforce demands. Swift is war. Right now, down here. Continue. <laughs> oh my god. The speed. The absolute. One minute. We've got one minute. Okay, I don't even know if I can reach Kumbum because I don't have enough diplo range. I don't think it's actually realistically possible. I'm sorry, I did promise Mango I'd be done exactly, exactly eight. Swift, swift. 
fast. There we go, 100%. Force demands. Expand all. Oh, can I declare war? I can. I can hit you. Can I reach this yet? No, I'm too far away. How about you? Declare war, invade kingdom. Yes, go for it. Why not? Right, once again, uh, move the rally point. Quick, 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 quick. Raise men at arms. Raise Mongol horde, raise Mongol horde. Raise Mongol horde, go. Right, merge them all up. And send them. Let's send them in. Come on, we got to be fast here. Maximum speed. Uh, what can I grab? Uh, hard rule, go. I made a friend. That's good, that's less stress. L even less stress, good. Are there any decisions I can do to make me less stress? No. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, swift. 186 gold down the drain to do that naval invasion. War declared, doesn't matter. I genuinely do not care. Oh, actually, I can just pay you off, can't I? Yeah, take 900 gold. I don't mind. Swift. Come on in, come on in, come on in. It's for this elephant kingdom, this lovely elephant kingdom. See, besiege the elephant kingdom. There we go, 100% instant win. Enforce demands. Right, and that should allow us to relocate our men at arms to here. And then, here it is, County of Cumbum. My armies are raised, disband all. Declare war, conquer county. It knew, it knew. Raise all of the men, raise all of the men. The entire military army must be raised. Everything. All of the men will be raised for this glorious final invasion. We've done it. 13,000 men. Let's raise the Mongol hordes as well. Raise, 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 raise. Look at this. The mightiest army the world has ever seen. Besieging the greatest province known to man. Cumbum. This war should... This fight will probably only last one day. Literally one day. Come on. One day and already 600 men have retreated. 1,200. This should be the war over. Instantly we captured... We captured so many valuable hostages. Four day siege. We did it. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching today. In just two hours. We have converted into the mightiest empire known to man, the glorious, the glorious Kambam Empire has been done, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed today's stream, give it a like. Make sure to give it a like. And as soon as it's done, go into the comment section and spam your glorious gifts. Well done to all of our lovely children, Snugglepuss who lived on, our son who absolutely hates us and is craven and one-legged and gout-ridden. Malapocalypse, I don't know why you're always cursed. Uh, Chieftain Travi McGough actually did fine, even though he's a disputed heritage. Ron White, he's a wise man now. That's actually pretty good. Travi as well. Shout out Travi. YouTube chat, rest in peace YouTube chat. You really tried. Um, how many titles do, did we hold at the end of the day? Five, just under 500 counties, which is... Um, I think that's about one third of the way to World Conquest. So that was really, really good. Hope you enjoyed watching, everyone. This has been a really, really fun stream. I'll see each and every one of you in the next one. Have, have a lovely day. And goodbye for now. If you want to do another World Domination next week, I think we probably could. I mean, that last section was two hours. I reckon I can do a World Conquest in three, I think. If we're being really, 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 really efficient. Anyway, thank you for watching all. Goodbye. Have a lovely day.